she in a supreme jumpsuit. I wanna get into do money machine running through. She don't know what to do. Yeah, trying to get you back to the condo. I'ma put you in the figure four. Got a bent double by the front door. Till she tell me she don't want no more. In a supreme jumpsuit. In a supreme jumpsuit. In a supreme jumpsuit. Yeah. Supreme yeah. jumpsuit. Yeah. yeah. Supreme jumpsuit. Yeah. So fresh, so fly. What's good? Hola. When I roll by. I'ma get you right now. Good gas in the white house. We can take you to the crib. Then you over right now. Like, hut one, hut two. Plug. Started what you gon' do. I tell you what I'm gon' do. You know that I'm on you. I wanna get into do. Money machine running through. She don't know what to do. Yeah. Trying to get you back to the condo. I'ma put you in the front door. Got a bit of trouble by the front door. Tell she tell me she don't want no more. In a supreme jumpsuit. 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 Yeah. So fresh, so fly. Oh me, oh my. Rushing in the coupe like a spy. Hit it and run through the light. Hey, mix it with sunny delight. Hey, go on like an African king. I got them racks in my jeans. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut it like a coupon. Got a bent dope on the futon. One button watch how the coupe run. She in a supreme jumpsuit. I wanna get into do. Money machine running through. She don't know what to do. Yeah, trying to get you back to the condo. I'ma put you in the figure four. Got a bent dope by the front door. Till she tell me she don't want no more. In a supreme jumpsuit. In a supreme jumpsuit. In a supreme jumpsuit. In a supreme jumpsuit. She in a supreme jumpsuit. I wanna get into do. Money machine running through. She don't know what to do. Yeah, trying to get you back to the condo. I'ma put you in the figure four. Got a bent double by the front door. Till she tell me she don't want no more. In a supreme jumpsuit. 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 Yeah. Yeah. We about to burn this shit live, we about to burn this shit down We about to wow, we about to shut this shit down Don't you play around, yeah Just tune in nigga, it's the ruler nigga Say it's my time, so it's my way The coolest nigga, they say who this nigga Bitch, it's fire flame, don't you violate Rate the money like a hundred thousand It's a hundred, I was just to stack my nigga I say niggas never really known to doubt him If it's fire, then we bring it back, my nigga, whoa Know you hooked on my new web Yeah Or sell for the dead Yeah, yeah Every time I go out oh, yeah. Niggas know this my fest Jeez. I tell them we all on I the way I wasn't down for the yeah, way I, I tell them I need this shit now I need this shit My nigga, we all about to stay we about to break this shit live. Yeah. We about to break this shit down. Yeah. We about to wild. Yeah. We about to shut this shit down. Yeah. Shut this shit Don't down. you play around. My niggas is down. Yeah. We about to break this shit live. Yeah. We about to break this shit down. Yeah. We about to wild. Yeah. We about to shut this shit down. Yeah. Shut this shit Don't down. you play around. My niggas is down. My niggas is down. Yeah. My niggas is down. My niggas is down. Yeah. For one, so many options, but for what? Cause I know you want me, but you bruise so easily. Boss, revenge in your fantasies, not realizing you're planting seeds. And whatever may grow, we both know it's inevitable. Like the green grass, but from earth, never growing, cause it always rains. And the sun never shines, no. Too much of anything ain't no good. And I don't need no more guilt gifts. And no more bitches on my hill list Lay your ass out that garden No more supermarkets I shed a tip for every rose you buy Anyway, all they ever do is die. Lay your ass out that garden No more supermarkets I 
shed a tip for every rose you buy Anyway, all they ever do Don't is Don't be sending die. me no roses No, no Cause what the fuck I'ma do with that? What the fuck I'ma do with Don't that? be sending me no roses Cause what the fuck I'ma do with that? They don't take the pain away No, they don't take the pain away I used to believe in magic But I got used to tragic Fairy tale in my way to love Searching for that just enough That ever so perfect That damn it, my nigga, you're worth it Chasing ships just meant to sink A jack and rose on Titanic But Jack was that man, no He loved rose on overdose He froze up his pride for rose He lied down and died for rose It gotta be deeper than that I'm focused, you focused, let's make it a pack Book the fame and the field trips And them bitches on your head list Lay your ass out that garden No more supermarkets I shed a tip for every rose you buy Anyway, all they ever do is Lay your ass out that garden No more supermarkets I shed a tip for every rose you buy Anyway, all they ever do is Don't be me no roses No, no Cause what the fuck I'ma do with that? What the fuck I'ma do? Don't be sending me no roses. Cause what the fuck I'ma do with that? What the fuck? They don't take the pain away. Don't be sending me no motherfucking no, they don't roses, take the bitch. pain away. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking music live, never be your male radio, man. I'm your boy, DJ Five Flame, man. I got my boy DJ Drewski in the building. I got that boy Entertainer Records in the building sitting in with us today, man. Shout out to everybody tuned in. I need y'all to hit that share button, hit that invite button, man. We got a lot of hot topics we're going to talk about today, man. But I got this new track, man, from that from that boy Young City, man. Straight out of Hillsburg. I think they said Hillsburg. That's where he's from, man. He's going to be here uh, Saturday night, man, 10 p.m. Central Time for a live interview. Going to be sitting down, man, talking about some new shit. Y'all check this track out right here, man. Breaking music line, WB and Mel Radio, man. <laughs> Early morning grind show, it's a bit late this morning, man, but I see y'all still out there, man. What's up with you, Jeffrey? Zoom. 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 Yeah. 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 This shit that be on got me all in my zone. This shit that I'm sipping got me in my zone. Zoom. 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 Niggas in the street, they be scheming. Why you at the club? I be laying low, chilling in the yo, I be mean, now sipping in. Niggas better know I'm on top though. He ain't even know it like I'm Rocco. Be Davis coming through the door with the 50 Henny Young with it on, want it on the rise though. Yeah, get up for a feeling. Yeah, sit it, wanna feel it when it hit him. Yeah, sit it, hope the people don't forget them when I speak in triple person. I'm just chilling in the middle. Illa, then these other niggas, nigga, no comp. Petition and they know it where I come from. I be in my zone, they don't want nothing. Text me for a minute, I'll check it if I get one. I made this song, I'm in my zone, don't mean my phone, but you can hear it in my tone. Don't get dethroned, I'm flying in a high price drone, I'm way past you. Tell it to be so unknown, and I'll chug a deuce like I'm Lil Kiki. My lady told me put this on repeat. Talk about my status is I'm elite. Niggas get exposed like we caught them with a cheat sheet. Gone to the moon, you ain't in the zone that I'm on. The hit it ball, I got the frost on the outside, mouth wide. I don't fuck with niggas like apartheid. Kill him, man, I swear I can't help that. Let me get my space like a step back. That bullshit you talking could've kept that, but speak about the brown, then you know a nigga will that. This shit that I'm on got me all in my zone. This shit that I'm sipping got me in my zone. <laughs> all in my zone. My lady, she with me, so she got me all in my zone. <laughs> all in my zone. She got me, she got me all in my zone. 
She with me, so she got me all in my zone. All in my zone. She got me, she got me all in my zone. Zone. All in my zone. It's your boy, DJ Five Flame, man. We live in the mix right now. Yeah, cuz in the building. What's up with you, Troy Rashad, Jeffrey? What's up with you, Tim? Swain through on your boy, man. Pull down on your boy, man. Y'all welcome to pull up anytime, man. Y'all already know what it is. Breaking Music Live, WBML Radio, man. The early morning grind show, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. We got a lot of hot topics, man. And y'all know it's cold as fuck out there, man. And it's still icing like the... Uh, on the back roads and shit like that So y'all make sure y'all be careful out there I hope everybody got to work this morning Cause I made it late Straight up, straight up I made it late man Drew was late uh, uh, Entertainer record He was on time Well somewhat on time today But I about 10 minutes late You about 10 minutes behind About 10 minutes behind Straight up I was late too my damn self man What's up, man? Hey, listen, listen, man. Y'all weigh in with us today, man. Y'all can hit the phone lines up at uh two five six seven one two four four zero four. That's two five six seven one two four four zero four, man. And we were sitting here discussing some shit about iPhone versus goddamn Android, man. What's which, which type of phone y'all like, man? Android right here. Yeah, you know we we rock the Droid, man. I got a Droid too, but that motherfucker ain't worth a fuck. <laughs> It ain't, it ain't worth a fuck, man. I swear to God, the joy ain't worth a fuck, man. Straight up, I swear it ain't. So, so what, what, what make y'all like y'all damn Android? Have y'all ever had an iPhone? I ain't never had an iPhone. I've always had a Droid. So how you gonna know if you don't like our uh, iPhone then? Hey, you sound like you uh, changed. I mean, I've, I've, uh, I've got, I've got my sister's got an iPhone, you know. So I played around on it a little bit, but right. I guess I'm just used to the Droid and the way it's set up. Right. Speaking of Android, somebody getting a call. Rightly, rightly. So, what do you think about it, uh, entertainer? Me personally, I'm an Android fan because Apple itself is a two standalone type of company. Right. And we work with a lot of stuff, different type of equipment, and you know, product. And if it ain't Apple, Apple ain't working with it. And, right. Right. You know what I mean? And as y'all know, I ain't. I, Everybody ain't balling, so you can't go get Apple everything. You right, know? right, so right. The best thing to do is get you a Droid, something that's compatible with your whole software, all your systems, and ain't trying to charge you out the butt to do everything on it. You, you got to pay for ringtone, this and that. Right. You, you can't just take and make a simple ringtone out your favorite song on the iPhone. You know what I mean? You can't <coughs> do certain things. But don't get me wrong, they performance ability is top in the Droid. As far as their compatibility, yeah. Droid taking over. You can go get the twenty dollar phone out of dollar store and pretty much do dang near everything the Apple can do. So, 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 so what you telling me is y'all, y'all gonna try the uh, the, the Tide Pod challenge too? No, no, <laughs> no. We, 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 we not eating game up in here, Tide. <laughs> y'all, 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 y'all ain't trying that shit. No, Hell no. What, for what? Hell no. 
Have y'all saw people doing it yet? Yes. Oh my Jesus. That shit crazy, man. What? 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 I, I just want to know what on earth. Do you think you, you think your stomach needs washing? Have you got some clothes up in your gut that need washing? I mean, what the, what on earth? It don't. It can't taste good. Hey, listen, no. listen. Hey, we were talking about uh, how you could tell which which race do some of the dumbest shit. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Hey, like, yeah, like, like, like. Some white boys. You, you already know that right there originated with the white the the, yeah, uh, yeah, the white, white folks white right boys. there, man. White white folks started that shit right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Straight up. <laughs> we, we, we not eating Tide Pods. On no, the no, 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 no. If, 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 if you see somebody getting goddamn broken to the 7-Eleven down there and, and goddamn shooting dice on the curb and yeah. trying to run for the police, that's, that's, that's a big you, you, you know who doing that. Yeah. yeah. Who doing that. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just going to keep it real. Most of us don't even use Tide Pods on the laundry. We can eat. Some of us still stuck on that pie of detergent. <laughs> right, the right, that best shit. That's that good still shit, mama. it up. Right, Big cup. Boom. <laughs> and mama gonna look, be looking at your ass. No, one cup, nigga. One, one cup. cup, nigga. Hell. If you put two cups, she gonna slap you, turn my clothes white. Right, you live. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. What's up with you? What's up with, uh, with, with you, Miss Love? Good morning. Good morning, man. I appreciate everybody tuned in right now, man. We're talking about this Tide Pod Challenge, man, and how ignorant these kids got in 2018, man. This shit is crazy. It's ridiculous, man. Like seriously, man. What if what if one of your kids did that? If one of my kids did that, they finna get a they they gonna get a they gonna get a whoop. I am I'm, I'm gonna Oh country boy ass whooping. Yeah, they gonna get an old country boy ass whooping. Real deal. <laughs> I'm probably gonna tell them to go to old school, go pick your switch out. Like yeah, you know your parents yeah. used to do you go pick one out and you're gonna be scared, come back with that look when I'm gonna go and get that big one and show you what it really like. But no, 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 that's poisonous. Why would I sit here and allow my children to poison themselves? Right. For views on the internet. It's not that serious. Because your views ain't going to do nothing when you're dead. Right. <laughs> ain't going to do nothing for you. Ain't going to do shit. And ain't going to be using your casket. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the only viewing you're going to get. It's your casket being lowered into the ground. And, that, and that's crazy, man. These kids will do anything for views now. Not just, just that. They done did some stupid shit. Yeah. There's literally videos out of people dying trying to get that shot or do that crazy thing to get their views up. But right. you dead now. What's you, the matter? You got views, but it's views of you dying right, right. there on site. Yo. And, and, and then that shit ain't going to last them probably about six months. Your ass going to be missed. Yeah. <laughs> For real missed. Pretty much. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> Until somebody bring you up. Hey, you remember that dumb dumb up that did this over here? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Oh, that about seven months later, going to have funny videos of your stupid yeah. ass. <laughs> dying. Dying, bitch. Out of you. That was the kid that blah, blah, blah did this. Yeah, you know, it's, it's like people trying to get on, side, on skyscrapers and hang off the edge and take their selfie and all of a sudden they go tumbling down and back. It's crazy what people are doing for views now, man. It's, it's crazy. But it's I got to say, it's the society fault, though. Because they making people feel like you have to do this in order for us to look at you. Right. If you ain't doing nothing crazy, or, why we need to look at you? Right. We're going to go look at the person that is doing the crazy stuff. And I think, yeah, I got to blame society for that one. Because we, we, we putting too much of demand on views. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Why you want to make somebody go do something that's risking their life just so you can be entertained? You know, go watch a boxing match or a UFC bout where it's regulated, but people are still getting hurt. Drew, Drew, Drew said that motherfucker don't know how to, uh, what you say, they don't know how to watch clothes, but goddamn want to do yeah, it. What do yeah. you say? Yeah, you're you, you going to put Tide Pods on pizza and you're going to eat it and you're going to smoke it and all this other type of shit. But hell, you don't know how to throw that bitch in the laundry and some clothes and hit a button and wash the damn thing. Right. Yeah, you still run around, Mama, you wash my shirt. Bitch, we over here eating this goddamn tie. What the fuck I'm going to look like washing your damn shirt for, you stupid damn, bastard? Man. Stupid motherfuckers, man. Somebody need to whoop these damn kids' ass, man. It couldn't be none of my kids, man. I will beat their ass from old and new. We're going to get some views for me whooping your yeah, ass live. Yeah, literally. I'm talking live. about And hey, bitch, you going to do it again now. You're going you to try this shit again and get sick again, dummy. Yeah. Some shit like that. I hope you get sick and get your guts out. Do not try the Tide Pod Challenge, y'all. Please, I, I, I'm hoping this didn't stem from the whole washing your mouth out with soap, you know, which, cord which, thing. Which really, we shouldn't have nothing but grown folks on this live feed, so I know y'all got kids, man. Do not, Man, pay attention to your damn kids. Don't be out here letting them do these damn challenges, man. Ain't no challenge on Facebook worth doing anything, you know, for no. them down, like dying over, man. You want to do a challenge, get a camera and go do something for your community. Right. You know what I mean? Go do, get a challenge like that. I challenge you to help the homeless. Right. I challenge you to help an old person across the street. I challenge you to show respect to adults. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. Do something like that. A challenge Rise is it. a triathlon, something like that. That's yeah. a challenge, you know. You train for that. That ain't a challenge that says you're going to live or die, bitch. Yeah, that, that is not <laughs> that, a challenge. That ain't how you play with that shit, man. You, kids play on their life a whole lot, man. Hey, these parents need to get on these kids' ass, man. Y'all already know what it is. The Early Morning Grind Show, man. I'm your boy, DJ Five Fly. I got the track right here from Trick of Mail, man. It, this shit right here hard, man. Y'all check this joint out right here called On Her, man.
Snitches getting paid, switching my cars, change up my routes, gotta find a way about more hoes, more stash spots. That me more scratch though. Patiently waiting, plugged in, but yet I feel Ain't broke. no more funerals in my city, convictions up in my city. These pussy niggas are snitching for the love of money they in. I kept it a hundred and y'all snitched on me. Them niggas turned on me. Five bands up on the shooter, but they can't be from my city. Ain't no more funerals in my city, convictions up in my city. These pussy niggas are snitching for the love of money they in. I kept it a hundred and y'all snitched on me. Them niggas turned on me. Five bands up on the shooter, but they can't be from my city, homie. Running in circle, chasing them figures, niggas trying to 
wanna taint my vision. Trained in my city, I'm local, but got a special living. Hating in the talking like bitches, it never paid a penny. So I listen. I get it, y'all want in. Let me check your paperwork. You rappers rap good, but I know you're working. Hey, hey, ain't in the block, you know, street cred, spoon fed. OGs, oh, boss man, nigga, I grew up under them. Me and my niggas earned this shit. I remember every lick. Run off on the plug, hell no. Nah. Hey, I think I got this shit. Don't let these songs get you killed. Y'all know plies ain't do that shit. Gotta see the minds when we do business. You know these niggas think they slick. Living life off rapping this shit. Gon' leave them wrapped ain't up no quick. Ain't no funerals in my city. Convictions up in my my city, these pussy niggas are snitching for the love of money, they in. Yeah. I kept it a hundred and y'all snitched on me, them niggas turned on me. Five bands up on the shooter, but they can't be from my city, Ain't no more funerals in my city, convictions up in my city, these pussy niggas are snitching for the love of money, they in. Yeah. I kept it a hundred and y'all snitched on me, them niggas turned on me. Five bands up on the shooter, but they can't be from my city, homie. Yo, 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 it's your boy DJ Five Flame, man, live with my guys, DJ Drewski, Entertainer Records in the building, man, early morning grind show, man, and we were sitting here, man, well, yesterday, me and, uh, old Silky Vincent, goddamn, sitting here, and we talked about that, uh, the HM thing, man, with the, with the little kid on there, man, uh, the coolest, the coolest monkey in the jungle, man. Man, we had a hell of a topic about that one right there, man. We talked about that a little bit, man. But I want to get y'all opinion on it. Would y'all or would y'all would y'all would have let y'all child did that? Coolest yeah. monkey in the jungle. Yeah, I would have did. I would have let my child do it. I can understand I would have let my child do it because I don't try to just point out racism for no reason. I feel like there was racism pointed out for no reason. You gotta look at it. Kids are about jungles and animals and things like that. I don't think the company was just trying to say, hey, we're going to put this on a black kid and put monkey on it and try to do some sly racist stuff. I think they were just... Why they got a light-skinned kid? Why they had to go get the blackest damn kid they find? Well, that's not racist, you know. <laughs> like I said, I, I, I don't have to see this. I ain't. You I, haven't saw it? Oh. Yeah, it's been... Pull it up. Just pull it up, man. HD, whole... man. Pull this shit up. All right. Yeah, that, it's, they, they got the little boy with a, uh, have to watch a green sweat on. What I type in? Uh, H and M, uh, whatever. I forgot the name of it. I don't know what it was, but they had some real bad shit. Yeah, they had the little, they had the little kid on there with a damn, uh, was it a green shirt? Yeah. It said like, uh, and it said on the front that little black kid. It said the coolest monkey, it's the coolest monkey in the jungle or something like that, wasn't it? Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. So and I think, yeah, right here. yeah, pull it up right there. Pull that picture up. Oh, okay. The coolest monkey in the jungle. It, to me, if there was any racism, well, not really racism, it's just the coolest monkey in the jungle. Oh, okay. is They put a black kid on because you know we now. we yeah. the coolest. You know they try you know try to you know black people got the coolness, the swag. So we gonna put it on you know what I mean the black kid. You know what I mean because right. we representing the coolness of it, being the coolest monkey in the jungle. Because if I was a monkey in the jungle, you know what I mean, not trying to call myself a monkey, but I want to be the coolest monkey in the jungle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want to be the one getting all the bamboo pussy, bamboo. You know what I'm saying? Pussy. I want to be the one that everybody come to for the berries. You know what I mean? Right. I'm gonna be that dude in the jungle. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be the coolest monkey in the jungle. <laughs> Why you couldn't have been light skinned though? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They would have got the darkest damn black kids you can find. So really, it's racist. They on white people because they ain't cool. <laughs> oh, okay, that's how, you, that's how you look at it. White boy. So what they say? When they say well, white people ain't cool. Well, you got no got, swag. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'll say I'm for the white. I'm speaking up for the white people. On that right, one. right, right. <laughs> cool. Hey, but that you shit know, was me, crazy. I don't see no color, man. But you know, all I see is green. Right. Yeah. That's the shirt the color was, motherfucker. Would you be a racist now? <laughs> look, look. But then you gotta also look at you know that, that that was a good opportunity. That was a good opportunity for that man. You know, that's something he can put on his resume as far as he. I guess he's trying to be a little child model. You know yeah. what I mean? And there's things you know you gotta do, and he did it. You know what I mean? Like I do it. I don't care. Pay me. You know what I'm saying? I'll take that. You know what I'm saying? I, I'll get that. My family gonna get straight. We gonna do my modeling thing. I'm gonna add this to my resume, and I'm gonna keep on doing my modeling thing. You know what I mean? It's it's sometimes you like when Victoria's Secret do they fat shows. Some of the women don't give a crap about that stuff they wear. But this is my job. I'm trying to be the best that I can be. So I go out here and wear this big huge thing that's about to make me fall over if I tilt. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm gonna do it because this is my job. You know what I mean? I I, I want to be the best. I want to you know what I, mean? I want to be the difficult person to work with because as soon as you get that difficult to work with, there's a good chance you ain't gonna get no more jobs. Ain't nobody gonna call you because you difficult to work with. So why do you think the big fuss was about it though? You think it's just, just people trying to point out racism, man. They trying to start it up. Yeah, Jermaine I mean, Dupree spoke on this the other day. He was talking about, you know, 
The same thing I'm saying, yo, why point out a situation that ain't truly racist and try to make it all about race when it really ain't that deep, man? We got deeper issues in society when it comes to racism than a shirt to just say cool as muck and jungle. Like, say, for instance, you want to talk about some real racism and display it on clothes, that basketball team that pulled up with the wet dream team on the front and had Negro and Coon on the back. Now, that's dead racist. You know what I mean? Yeah. That is pure 100% racist. You know what I mean? You got knee grow. And they got it K-N-E-E-G-R-O-W. You know what I mean? Then they got coon on the back. It's like a university. I can't remember the university is, but we can pull it up. And then you can, now, that's racism. Yeah. <laughs> pure to the form. That's racism. Yeah. Coolest monkey in the motherfucking jungle. jungle. You know what I, I mean? swear to God, I don't know if I would let my child went through with it. Uh, you, don't, you don't think so, DJ? I, well... I don't know. Well, cause well, I guess I guess it's because how the situation got blowed up. Now yeah. it filled up everybody's head with that thought, like yeah. this shit racism. So the first time you look at, it, like, damn, it is. He's got this little black ass little boy, darker than a motherfucker. Okay. I'm still on that side. Why couldn't have been a light skinned kid? But you also got to know in the modeling industry, they like to use Nigerians and stuff like that, and they are black. You know, Greased they black. They greet that damn little boy with Vaseline and everything, man. <laughs> man it's like they're like a tired pair model. Man, that shit <laughs> fucked up, man. Fuck that shit. Fuck H M, man. Got that shit was wrong, man. But you gotta look at it like this. So say for instance, you know what I mean? I got a daughter. And if she grow up and she wanna decide she wanna be a model. Right. As a parent, I'm not gonna agree to that skippy crap that she's gonna have to wear around. But at the same time, this is the profession in which she chose. So therefore these are the things I have to expect. You know what I mean? If right. she's running around with bikini on, opposing with a bra, but got the on I'm, as a father, I'm not going to like that. But as a business person, I have to respect that right. because this is the business. You know, I, I can't be like, my daughter's not wearing that stuff. You better cover her up. Well, your daughter don't need to be a model. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, yeah, I look at it that way, too. But, you know, I still feel like I should have had a light-skinned kid up there. Man. I should have had one of them. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're a white kid, yeah. black, black kid, kid, and a mixed kid, and just different colors of the shirt. Right. That could have killed, you know, that, like yeah. he said, that would have probably solved the whole race if, if all anything, colors got on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they had that one little yeah, black one ass little boy little with black. all that Vaseline on, with that damn green-ass shirt on, saying, coolest monkey in the jungle. Nigga, come on, man. You know that guy. Niggas fly off the hinges, man. Come on, man. Come on. Look at the picture. The nigga is lotioned up. Nigga, I'm talking about he had, he had lotion, Vaseline, and baby oil on him. Hey, he must have been with Tyler Perry, all that lotion. Man. <laughs> that nigga was still out there cool as motherfucker, too. Uh, you can't be in a Tyler Perry film without the lotion and the oils. <laughs> yeah. You gotta have it flexed on. Ain't no telling how old that little boy was, too, man. And then that's the thing, man. If, if he had fun doing it, you know what I mean? As long as he enjoyed it, he had fun, man. I, I, like I said, I don't see why we should make it. Because at the end of the day, our opinion could cause that little boy to never get a job again in the modeling industry. Because right. people going to be like, well, we can't mess with you because you got this stigma behind you. You right. got the whole world thinking we treated you like a racist, so we can't work with you no more. Right. So now that little boy career could be over because of the opinions of the world when it might not even been that way. But, you know, that little boy, he having to suffer from that. Because you got to think, he going to school, all his friends talking about it. Man, how you going to do this and how you going to do that? Family members, you know, shunning the family about it. Right. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's not that deep. But y'all have made it that deep. So now we, you know what I mean? And I don't, I feel like they should have just left it alone, man. Yeah. They just left it alone. Hey, I think each of them had some bullshit behind it. Because they could have, like you said, they could have did that shit a whole lot better, man. They could have like brought out more than one, well, one or two little kids, I mean, or one kid, man. Should have put like two different races up in there. I got another other thing: is H and M owners white, black? They could be a black company. They could right. be black owned. They, I don't you know, they could be some black executives. You know what I mean? It's, and if it's black people, you know, doing it, why? We can't really say it's racist if the black man told the boy to put it on. You know what I mean? I don't <laughs> think he was trying to be racist, like you know what I'm saying? You so can look at it that way, I they guess need so. They to fire their PR manager. That's well, what, if the, what if the PR manager black? I'm going to fuck fire his black ass, <laughs> God damn it. That motherfucker getting fired too. Fuck the black motherfucker, you fired. Motherfucker, you fired. <laughs> Nigga, don't put that shit out there for how the time he is now. He doing his job right. If he's the PR manager for the big corporation, you already know any situation, because everybody quick to pull the race card these days, right. you know, because they want to check, and they want to, oh, my feelings hurt, so pay me for my, uh, my pain and suffering, you know, which you I'm look saying. like the damn cream in the Oreo right now, sitting between us, white boy. Yeah, look. <laughs> hey, I'm used to it. That ain't nothing new to me. But you also got to look at it. H and M just gained over the biggest publicity in the world right well, now. Yeah. So that's going. Imagine be. what that's going to do for it. Might people might think, oh, blah, blah. 
But at the end of the day, people still gonna go shop. Right. People gonna be like, well, who is this H&M? And then they get to looking at them and be like, man, they actually got them five clothes. Let me go and buy some of them jeans right there. Right. Mm-hmm. So you know, cause like they say, publicity, you know, good publicity. They still gonna get Bad publicity, publicity, good publicity, all, all publicity are great. And they, gonna, and they right now are the biggest topic in the world. So therefore, they brand had just basically See, went. See, I ain't never heard of them until. You straight out the root. Yeah. Out the root. That, that, that's what I'm saying. That was a you fucked up move first. they pulled. I ain't never heard of them until just now. Yeah, right? I and now you know about them. You know what I'm saying? Now I know because of this. I heard of H and M. Yeah, I didn't know that. They said it was a clothing line. I didn't fuck. What is that? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm saying here. I really know what it is until it came I, out. I didn't figure out I, what they was talking about. This H and M little scandal and all this bullshit right here. To probably about a week later. Yeah, you know, I had just got hip to like, well, what the fuck is everybody talking about? H and M, H and M, H and M. So I went over to the breath club and watched the breath club. And uh, okay, the motherfucker had the little black boy over here. I saw yeah. the picture. Like, oh, that's fucked up. That's real fucked up. You know what I'm saying? That's the first thing that went to my mind. You know, racist bastards. Look yeah. at this motherfucker to put this boy out here. Who is his parents? That, you know what I'm saying? That's the first I think thing his parents got the donkey of the day on there for yeah, this stuff. Yeah, man. Who is this boy's parents? To let this boy, how this society is right now, that shit, for no money, your child should never been out there. For no type of money, your child should never been out there. Black as hell, greased up, oiled up, Vaseline up, with a goddamn green shirt on, talking about the coolest monkey in the game, uh, in the jungle. Yeah. In the game. You know? Yeah. Look, there you go. <laughs> See? There you go. We got you, another that. one right there. Coolest monkey in the game. Man. Right. See what I'm saying? That's that's that's, that's gonna be my shirt right there. I'm, I'm gonna brand that shirt, coolest monkey in the game. Yeah, I, I can see if it was a, like a grown person doing it. Okay, different. But that was a that was a child. Well, he looked like a child. Ain't no telling how That's probably look. why they put the whole jungle thing. Like I said, the whole yeah. kids and jungle, jungle, you know what I'm right. saying? Door explorer, all this stuff, you know what I mean? That's you know that's why I said I guess you gotta kinda Who were they trying to uh 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 Target on that motherfucker, like, like who, who was they crowd they were looking for? The kids. Who gonna wear that? The, the, the kids. If you go in the store and you see fifteen of them shirts hanging up on the line, are you finna buy it for your child to wear? I ain't gonna lie, if I was a child, I'd buy it to wear for myself. If I was a child, I'd, Mama, give me one of them cooler monkeys in the like, like, shirt. Like, like, seriously, you would you go in the store and buy that shirt for your child to wear to school? Me personally, I might be looked at as crazy. But yeah, I would. I would actually go buy my kid if they wanted it. I'll get it. If you the want the coolest man, monkey in the, in the jungle. jungle, yeah, I do it. Because like I said, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, <coughs> I'm trying to look past this whole racism thing, right. man. Because the more we focus on racism, the more broad it's gonna become. Right. The more we keep fueling this racism, throwing this racism out there, also, it's true. Martin ain't. Luther King just having a, uh, you know. Birthday, birthday yeah. just coming up. I mean, do you think it's coincidence that this? I don't know when the ad was run it was when it came out, but it seems to me like it's. It's been out there probably about two weeks now. Okay, yeah. so it's been a little before that, but okay, but the timing there, you yeah. know. Yeah, they know how to play the timings and stuff, man. I think the government is working with a lot of people, man, to get to keep this race war going, man. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. If we keep fueling it, it's gonna keep going. If we just what you mean fueling it, like what having having negative thoughts? Yeah, about negative it? thoughts constantly, you know. Because Facebook, Twitter, all these folks get money by all of us clicking and sharing, putting our opinion on it, watching it. Right. They getting all the money. And the racism is still spreading. People are getting the war. Because as soon as somebody go on and comment it and try to stand up, they're going to have a thousand people eating them. What's wrong with you? That is wrong. So it's fueling the race war. And I'm the type of person... I don't want to acknowledge racism to its pure point. I'm not just going to take a small situation and just... Boom! Blow it up! Like, oh my God! Right. This is straight racist. But see, I, hey, it, it, it still boiled down to it, man. I wouldn't have had my child out there with that damn racist ass shirt on, and I still want to go buy that motherfucker out the store. I go buy that bitch all day. I'll be rocking. What about you? Well, Drew, what 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 had what what it said the coolest? Well, white folks like that old crazy ass shit. Coolest mm-hmm. cracker, coolest cracker in the what? In, in, in the trailer oh, part, in, in the trailer part, yeah, coolest yeah. crackers in the trailer part. <laughs> hey, that, Would you go buy that shirt for your for your for, for your daughter? Part. Yeah, the coolest cracker in the trailer part. Hey, we ain't grow up in no damn jungle either. Yeah, no, you know what I'm saying? Concrete jungle. <laughs> yeah, the concrete jungle. You know, Hell I, no. I, I can see if they had a curious George little figure up underneath it or something, making yeah. it more kitty looking. But you know, but y'all but call at the same up, time, you gotta pay curious George to put him on your shirt, right? Curious George is copyright. Yeah, so you got to pay to have Curious on there. Like what I was just saying, that's what it all boils back down to. 
they they generate they capitalizing on this whole racist shit right yeah. back into what you saying. Yeah. We stirring it up. That's getting clicks, likes, and they sitting here making bank while we over here looking dumb, ready to kill each other, and ready to kill. Like I said, I'm gonna kill me a motherfucker that come home. Hey, motherfucker, bring 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 one of them shirts. I'm gonna whoop the bitch ass. <laughs> Period. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I'm a be BJ, and if she have took my child over there and got a picture talking about the coolest monk in the game for twenty thousand, thirty thousand, bitch, I'm still beating your ass, straight up. And then I'm going to spend a check. I make a make a take it back, motherfucker. Don't try to do those shit like that, man. You got your ass up with a knot. Right, <laughs> a whole knot that you finna have to go cap back to these people. Yeah, man. Hey, uh, for real, man. Y'all already know what it is. Breaking music live, be a male radio, man. That was the HM uh topic, man. We, me and me and uh. Try to get these guys' opinion. Me and uh, P. Weezy sat down yesterday and talked about it, man. He he, he was like, shit, I would have took the money too. But me personally, I, I I feel like I ain't gonna sell out for the moolah, you know. Not that, not that, not that way, you know. I don't call it selling out. I call you because you never know what situation his family was in. They had to get that money for. Yeah. But at the same time, I would have saw that in writing. Like, really? Is it worth it? Right. Is that price tag worth it? Yo, child with that shit off. Off of that little picture with that shirt. Because ain't nobody forced him to do that. No, ain't no. nobody forced him. No, they didn't force him. Wait, which it, it ain't on him, it's the parent, because he's yeah. just a child. I guess, yeah. That yeah. look like he's about 20. But <laughs> 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 look here. Hey, his ass greased up on that, man. I'm gone, man. <laughs> Frankie Richard Live, the VFL Radio, man. <laughs> I do what I want to do, man. Hit that air bite button, hit that chef button, man. Money in the kitchen. Money press, in press, the press, kitchen. press, 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 I do what I wanna do, real rap break, but I do what I wanna do, nigga. I ran up a check cause I wanted to I nigga. I'm nigga like none of you niggas. I earn my respect, I'm a hundred. I did not say what you wanna do, nigga. Just pull up and do what you wanna do, nigga. I come from a bond of you niggas. How did I end up in front of you niggas? I do what I wanna do, nigga. I go where I wanna, I say what I please, I do what I wanna do, nigga. If it ain't by mine, I don't wanna speak, I do what I wanna do, nigga. Selling our cottage to run up the profits, I do what I wanna do, nigga. If it ain't by money, don't speak to me If it ain't by no money, you need to be I do what I want and I do that shit easily It ain't my fault that your girl wanna sleep with me I told her to keep it discreet when she cool with me Cut the shit that we doing might make your little nigga want beef for me And I do not handle shit peacefully They heard that I'm popping You would think I played in college The way I keep a couple options I used to be broke Then I start moving like cottage I'm just a product of the project So this is the profit This nigga capping a lot I really with you, you stop it We know you ain't about it, fight it We know, we know that you niggas ain't solid we know you I had to get up and earn me some strength Hit a few lists with my money, what right? I know that's your girl But bro, I can't help who I like She on the way cause I want her tonight She fuck with me cause we nothing to light I might unzip and get time at the light I'm cool with the head cause the bitch ain't my type I do what I wanna do, nigga I ran up a check cause I want to nigga I'm nothing like none of you niggas I earn my respect, I'm a hundred I did not say what you wanna do, nigga Just pull up and do what you wanna do, nigga I come from a bond of you niggas How did I end up in front of you niggas? I do what I want
every person, every single individual who completes it to the finish line. You dig what I'm I talking about? No Lee Lee, come on, on girl. Say mommy's house, and bullshit will all come out. Show man, y'all can call up and wait in with us right now, man. It's two five six seven one two four four zero four. Good morning, Miss L. What's up? Which out the park? We back at it. You already know what it is. Breaking music live, WBML Radio. I like that track you sent in last night too, homie. That, that joint was jumping too, man. Straight like that. And if y'all in town right now, make sure y'all go hit up uh S and K goddamn packing store, man, and goddamn get your uh good old shot of that goddamn wow. Uh, smearing off and a cold bud wise or something like that, man. Tell them your boy Five Flames sent you that way, man. Make sure y'all go hit him up, man. Some of the new place out there on uh, what's in that? I mean, I was down with uh, right over here in Woodward. Oh, yeah, Woodward over there, Sheffield, and one over here, yeah. Oh, yeah, that one yeah. out there on Woodward. I mean, not Woodward, but uh, right here on Avalon, yeah. straight up by the across from Paradise, right? Right, right, bro. They show it out, bro. They got it on ice and everything for you. Come get it, we, everything. And my boy CJ Mobile Car Wash, man, will pull up on your ass right now. Mobile Car Watch, CJ Mobile Car Watch. Make sure y'all go follow him, man. He on our uh, Facebook fan page, the Breaking Music Live Radio uh, Facebook page. Make sure y'all go check him out, man. Y'all need y'all car whipped up in this cold weather or the hot weather when it gets summertime. But right now it's cold. Hit him up. He pull it up on the spot, man. Any professional with it, man. Straight like that. You already know what it is. Breaking Music Live, WBML Radio, man. We just got finished hitting that damn... Uh, the H and M topic up, man. Straight like that. Hey, much love to everybody that hitting that share button, man. Every day, November 16th, just share the status, man. I appreciate that, homie. Much love. What's up? What's up? Yeah. But anyway, man, oh. So let me ask you this question right here, man. What do you think that artists is slacking other than not 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 the market wise, but like recording wise? What 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 do you think they slack when they hit the studio, man? Me, I, 
kind of like Drew said last night, they're going in the studio without a, a, you know what I'm saying, a blueprint to the music in which they're trying to create. They're going in there with this whole, just play the beat and I'm going to run with it. Like, man, that's, you know, that's cool on some songs, but some songs you need to plan out, get a true concept and build something on it. Don't just go in there, play the beat, I right, let me rip it. But to me, I feel like you need to just put a little bit more thought process into your music. It's like the thought process in music is gone nowadays. Me, me, my take, like, I ain't a rapper, but I am a storyteller, Yeah. and I can write that down, you know. So if me as being the storyteller type person I am, it's got a meaning. It's got a purpose behind this song. Yeah. You know, I'm telling a story. I'm telling you about something. It's something that pertains or relates to me. So I've got a blueprint to what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, I got a, I make beats and all that. So I've got a feel, that, a vibe that I'm going with when I intend when I make this beat, and then when I write these lyrics down or I. I've got a specific goal. I'm not just going like to a tattoo shop and picking something flash off the wall just because it looks cool and I got my bestie with me. Yeah. And, hey, give Who me your that. bestie? Hold on, what the <laughs> fuck did you just I say? I got my bestie oh, with I, me. I got your bitch. <laughs> got my bestie with me, bitch. Oh. I got my bestie with me. I, I, man. Look, I'm a ta- I do tattoos, you know what I mean? I see it all the time. I've worked for seven years in and out of shops. I see them come in all the time. Oh, give me that one. And it'll be a piece of kanji and don't even know what it means. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. It looks cool, man. I want something that means beauty because I'm beautiful. <laughs> and I got my bestie and she's she's hot. So she's getting kanji for hot. Just because you got a buzz and a little tipsy. Yeah. You know, same way with the music. You know, if I get a tattoo, it's going to have meaning. I'm wearing that bitch for the rest of my life. If I make a song... I've got a plan for it. I'm trying to do something with this song. I'm trying to promote it, push it, get it heard. You know, something for the rest of my life that's going to carry on with me. Just like that tattoo I'm wearing on my arm, same way with that song. I want that song to be carried with me. My name is behind it. My name is a brand, you know. Yeah. So See, that's why I don't deal with artists. A lot, I, get a, I get a lot of artists coming to me because, see, they'll sit down and, and we'll talk. And they really didn't know that I knew everything that I did know. Like, yeah. man, when you mad me, hell no, niggas, I don't even like artists. Nigga, y'all is not finna have me set up a failure. No, not you at know, all. Because simple fact is that, <coughs> excuse me, simple fact is that, who, if, if I go line up these shows and I put my name down on the line and your ass, I don't, I don't need you showing up late. I don't give a fuck what color you is. I don't give a fuck. Oh, man, you know how black folks is. Uh, if I say I'm on my way at 15, that was like an hour. You know, I'll be there an hour and a half. No, nigga. You need to be there. No, nigga. This is not your no normal job right here. This ain't this ain't the one you go to the white folks. This is Kiki's job right yeah, here. Yeah, basically. Rise your leg. You know, this right, right here end up with a fight. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't going to be fired. This is going to end up with a fight because this is my name on the line. You know well, what I'm too, saying? Well, you got to look at it. If, if I'm coming in and I'm your opener and I show up 30 minutes late, You've already got other people set up to come after me. So then here I come in trying to push my way in for a slot that's already over righteously. I shouldn't even be performing. I done missed my shot. Yeah. That causes other people you got. You got your headliner event going on at whatever time. That's going to push everybody else, you know, like that's that's taken away from them. You know, they got here on time. So righteously, you know, if I was doing this shit, you look, I've got you set for this slot for this many minutes. If you don't make it in that time, guess what? The, you don't get nothing. The next man, the next man on deck is coming up. You know. Right, right. Yeah. And then and another thing about when artists jump in the studio and stuff, man, like it's like they don't care that they just paid this man this money, and they didn't sit there and hear the man mix the song. They don't give up three fucks. They pay the money, they pay it, record it, and gone about their business. No. What do y'all think about that? I gotta sit down and watch what's going on. I gotta put some input on it. Do you like, think artists need to be sitting down with the engineers and stuff, seeing what he's doing? You think you think that, that, that that's like? I think it kind of helps because, uh, you like uh, again, if you have a plan for your music, then that's when you need to do it. Because if you're the person who's recording, you don't know your plan, don't really know where direction you're trying to head into it. They can mix it or master it in a different way than what you seem to going. So and if you sit down there of, with them, a lot and say, of re- hey, bro, and, you know what I'm saying? If you if you don't mind, could you do this? Could you raise this vocal up? Can you make this sound like this? Can you slide this here? Can you put this there? That way your song develops to what you want it to develop it. 
But because uh, of the a mixer, and I'm a mixer, I do. And what we're talking about, y'all, is talking about in, in, in the studio, artists in the studio, how much attention they need to be paying with a game plan and stuff, yeah. Yeah, and so when I, if I'm mixing your song and you're not giving me no input, I'm just going to go with my input. But my input ain't gonna, might not be what you want. Right. So therefore, you paying you're me. You're not getting what you pay for. Yeah, you're not getting what you pay for. And then here I come, I done put five hours into mixing your song, you hear it. Now you want to give me some input. So what that means, I got to go back in here. I got to go do this. Obvious. You know what I mean? No, That's you got to come back. Okay, you want me to change this up? Go on and break. Go on and oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, break off some bread. Oh, yeah. break Everybody, bread. You got to break the bread back off. But it's yeah. just stupid, though. Yeah. But you could have saved yourself that By half of and him and have five hours of his valuable time. Because like, I'm like you, man. I, 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 do it, I do it all. So I, yeah. I see it from all different angles, you know. And but as an artist, you know. I'm going, like I said, for me personally, I got a plan and a blueprint. So I'm going in there and I want it this way. So I'm going to sit here with them, you know. Well, I'll be doing it myself, but, you know, if right. I was, you know, okay, you know, add a little more reverb here. I'm trying to give it a little bit more of an ASAP, for, you know, kind of feel, you know. So add a little reverb there, you know, give it more of that ambient kind of vibe, you know. You know the vibe you want to go with. So what you're saying is that, that the artists need some management, don't they? Yeah. Relives is, too, another thing. Because a lot of artists coming in here and they rapping about stuff, it's not necessarily that they ain't doing it. It's just not relevant to everybody's life. Everybody ain't popping bottles and popping zannies and popping drinking lean. You know what I mean? Like the music we grew up to, when you heard a song, it felt like this man know more about me than I know about myself. You know what I'm saying? Or this person, I can truly relate because I done went through everything that they talk about. And that's what, to me, grabs you as a true artist. When you can, somebody can play us play your song and they can feel it in their heart, everything that you're saying. Not because it sounds cool or right. it's got a good beat, but they feel like, man, I done went through that same thing. I done been in that same position. You know what I mean? And that's where you really resonate in to your audience when you can touch them in that manner. And I feel like a lot of artists don't do that. They just want to go in and do this mainstream. Ah, right, we popping by, we trying to lean. We, you know what I mean? Kind of like when Cash Money came out and everybody was like, hey, man, why y'all always talking about money and cars and clothes? Because back then, you know, we didn't have all that crazy right. stuff. We didn't have it riding around on four wheelers with 32s on it yeah. and scratch PT limos and stuff like that. And you're just like, you know, so we was like, bro, we, we really can't relate to what it is y'all talking about. See, then why, then why, listen, I put a post out yesterday. Uh, I, let me go to it real quick. And it, and it was some shit I was just thinking about. It just dawned on me. I'm like, because I've been listening to a lot of industry music here lately. And I swear to God, the number, some of the hottest hits got this right here related in it. And I, and I, and I, and I broke it down last night. I, I made a post. I said, rapping about relationships, being done wrong in life, man or woman, how much love, uh, how much you love something or someone is winning right now when it comes to making pro professional music. Yeah. And I had an artist I was talking to another day, and he was sort of going through a situation with his female. And I was like, hey, man, won't you put that on the song? Man, I ain't trying to, what you, what, no, I ain't even, man. why would you not? Because every human being in the world can knows what you're that. going through. Can right. They can relate. It's called it. relatable music, you man. It's I mean? called professional music, man. That's why, that's why professional music is totally different from local and underground music. Yeah. I hate to throw that local word out because yeah. I don't like to use that word. I don't even want that word in my definition, I mean, in my dictionary. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, for and real. Like, but. Why would you not clearly make a song about what you're going through right now at this moment and you know all your fans can go through it. Right. That's why, that's why I tell the people, man, you know, it's all about, you can, you can rap about relationships. It don't matter if it's just like a personal relationship with a friend, a relationship with anything. Yeah. Relationships is relationship. That ain't got to be there between man and woman. Yeah. Breaks up, you know what I'm saying? But that's winning also too. But like it, like I said, you know what I'm saying, that um, and then people rapping about stuff they love and stuff they want, you know. Yeah. And I, I also talked to another little artist and, um, you know how Drake got that song Free Smoke. Okay. And I was like, you know what I mean? It's, you know my little my artist Kid J. I'm gonna beat him on out there. You know I told you about him last night when I was on the show. His name Kid J. Right. And you know I was like, man, won't we get a remake of that Free Smoke song and do a song called Free Lunch? And you know what I mean? And he's like, man, nah, ain't nobody. Everybody loved free lunch. Hell yeah. Lunch time was the best period of school. Besides that, I'm a PE hater. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Lunch so how, As soon as a person yeah. hear about free lunch, they instantly free into lunch. it. Yeah. 
Because everybody went free lunch, whether it was in school or you went to the Michael Center or any of that stuff. Right. We got them summertime, you know, right, free lunch right, and stuff right, like that. Hood, yeah, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, everybody right. can relate to free lunch. Right. But to him, nobody want to hear that. No, he want to trap like, bang and you know what serve saying? and shit like that. And I'm like, I promise you, if you <laughs> were to make this song, it would get heard on a simple basis because everyone can relate to free lunch. Right, right. And I told a few people about it, and guess what they say? When it coming out? It probably ain't never coming out. <laughs> they already <laughs> ready to hear it because they instantly, as soon as I said free lunch, free lunch it brought back it, all kind of memories. I'm ready to hear that. It's more po folks than the rich folks. So therefore, we had free lunch. Free lunch. Free lunch, motherfucker. Right, free lunch. Food stamp is free lunch too now. Yeah, they want to say that. But see, if you, that's how you get free lunch in school if you want some type of government and stuff yeah. like that so you get that free lunch Macy yeah, that free lunch come hey, handy personally uh. I ain't getting no free lunch you know <laughs> what I mean I didn't fall into that bracket but what I did do is I went and bought up all the Curious George snacks I bought up all the fruit roll ups I brought up all the little ice cream bars and shit and right. sold them and then I took that shit and that was my locker plus the sodas and stuff that you can't get Yeah. and so now you know free so lunch. now guess what I'm getting paid because I went and spent a little bit, and now you got to come to me if you want to. Yeah. I'll let your boy. That's why, that's why they got to have a game plan when you go in the studio. You know, that's why I tell artists, of, like, pick out certain beats, man. Know your type of beat, man. Understand the beat, man. Go in the studio. Get with your engineer. Let them know what you what you got going on and what you're trying to achieve. Because you should know that if you listen to all your favorite rappers, the ones you are, you are here trying to uh, portray every damn day. But do not, don't nobody go back and take their final mix. And listen to their mix and then listen to their favorite rapper mix and see 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 where where, yeah, where, where they're Yeah. Now if your shit this low and that one up that low, nigga, you need to get your shit back up, and go back to your engineer. See that's yeah. the way you didn't fuck you fucked up at. And that's one of my final process of uh, when I do music. Like if I do some songs, I will take some uh, make a CD, put my songs on it, put some industry songs on it, right. mix them together and just play it. And let it run and through. See how it come in. Certain value. Yep. Don't turn it no don't more. Don't turn it up. Don't turn it down. Just leave yep. it there. And when your song come on, in the flow. see the difference. <laughs> yes. See if all of a sudden you need to jump it up a few more volumes. <laughs> yeah. If it need to turn down, you know what I mean? There's things like that that people can do to help their process. And a lot of people just say. And their product. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah. they nowadays, they want to, as soon as it's done, straight off the press, going to SoundCloud, going to YouTube, we're shooting the video. Nigga, we're going to uh, get this bitch distribu uh, distribution right now, man. We're going to put it on iTunes. Nigga, yeah. that shit. It's like garbage. This. Yeah, it ain't even. It sounds it's not like, like your favorite rapper day, what you look like, and all in the damn song. Acting like it's Damn. like this. When I was in college and I had final exams, but he stole his lunch. When, when I was in college and I had final exams, you best believe I studied for that motherfucker because I've been paying to go to that school. Yeah. Same way with the studio. You don't go take a final exam and not study for it. Right. No, shoot, no. Especially when you pay for those classes. You gonna bet you gonna fail. You trying to build a career? You trying to do the same thing right here with music? I hope you are. You know. You gonna study? You gonna have your plan? You you know you gonna go over Nigga, whatever. You artists need to get in the studio and just it it, it it could be all so simple. It could be all so simple that they like after they get their finished product, like I just said, go listen to your favorite artist that who you trying to rap like, cause you ain't building up your own style. Mm -hmm. Cause that cause you be out there wearing that shit on the scale. Listen to your favorite rapper song and put yours there. Don't be scared to listen to it. Don't be scared to go back to the engineer. Just have your money ready. Cause you should have set that in the beginning with and heard how your music supposed to be sound uh in the first place. Another thing that artists don't do that kind of you know ticks me off. If you making a song and you want it to be heard by the world, why do you not get a edited version as well as a you know, the edit, right. you know what I'm saying? Like the dirty version. The dirty version, you know what I'm saying? That's, and that kind of trips me out. Like, you want this song to get on the radio, you it's full of cuss words. You and can't put it on the radio, it's full of cuss words. He, he should have if he would think a radio song, he should have been limited his cuss words. It, it, it is, you know what I'm saying? And, but if it, but think about those, those one or two cuss words can keep your song from getting on the radio. Right. So if you ain't got your engineer going in and making you a radio version then you can't make that song go too much anywhere as far as the radio. And you, you know what I mean? You got to be able to get some radio on your belt. It's not mandatory nowadays with all these streaming services and things like that to playing unedited music. But some sources won't clean music. Right. But if you ain't got clean music, then guess who can't go over there and deal with these people? You, you can't. Uh, you, you, you limiting in your, yourself when you don't get at least an edited copy, especially if it's your main song on your, your album hit. and you want it to be yeah. out there, right. but you ain't got an edited version I mean, of some it. Of these, some of these BDS radio, you know, like, it's on the FM waves and stuff, you know, yeah. 
they got more restrict their restrictions are more different you know yeah. have you an edited version you know because yeah. that that's going to reach out and touch people just like and another reason you should have an edited version is because not just for the radio part but for your performance part if somebody say hey i want you to come to my child's birthday party you got straight unedited music you can't go do that child's birthday party wait wait wait, wait look, look, but look Tom, uh entertainer records hey don't knock it, because they got to come to me then. I'm going to do the edit. That's money, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what you, you, y'all need to come see Flame and get your stuff mixed properly, and he going to show you what to do. If yeah. he know you finna go do a performance on this in front of some kids, he going to straighten it out, get it edited, get you a show mix, right. and you going to go out there and you going to bang. Right. But if you got a bunch of cuss words can't and all this gun and shooting and shit. Can't be at no kids' party. You can't be at no kids' party. You can't be at a pretty and much. parents trying to pay you 300 Yeah, they trying to pay you three because their child is always, ah, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm okay. I'm gonna give him a surprise and I'm gonna let him come perform. Well, shit. He, all these other kids' parents might not be cool with the cuss words stuff. Right. So, hey man, can you bring? You can you perform? But I need some clean music. I ain't got no clean music. Well, sorry, I can't have you come perform. That's that's three, four, five hundred gone. Right. You ain't got no clean music, even though it might not be for the radio. Just to have it, because even Ti, you know, Wayne, the all Crystal. them, they have Crystal. edited versions of their song because some arenas don't want. You no know, cussing. Like if right. I go perform for the Nickelodeon Awards, I can't get up there, a bitch, whole slut, all this. Drink I gotta something, have man. a clean song. Uh, yeah, I gotta have a clean song, and I'm a multi-million dollar rapper. Right. But I gotta have a clean song. Right. No matter what the fuck your status is, you have to have a clean song. <laughs> right. For for the situation, and a lot of artists won't do that. They will not get clean music whatsoever. Except uh, it was that one night that guy brought it, but he had a clean version of the wrong type of song. It was just <laughs> too much cussing in it. Way but, too you know, much. So that's why I said I gave him some respect because. You hardly ever hear anybody with oh, an edited about, on, on the show. On the BML, that yeah, day, that on guy came track. on, yeah, his song way, had a bunch of cussing in it. Way too so it was edited. just a bunch of blah, 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 blah. What ain't worth a doubt, man. But that's why I said I gave him a little bit of respect, because in the area we live yeah. in, you don't hear artists bring but, edited music. But, but at, the, at the same damn time, but that like, that but look, but look, but look, yeah, at the same, same, same time, you time. can't take a song full of cussing. Yeah, and turn that shit, it's like a turd, parsing the motherfucker turd, man. It's like that Sherman Ray dude, that song that was on the radio, and it's like the whole song was just like this. But, and he's uh -oh. a multi-million dollar rapper, but his right. whole song was just... But, 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 but see, like you said, he a multi-million uh, dollar rapper. Nigga, you wasn't. Yeah. You, you know don't bring that. You know you can't do that, man. Yeah, you got to make sure, like you said, when you if you finna make a radio song from the jump, right. your plan, your blueprint need to be, I need to use as less cuss words and bad stuff as possible. Right. That way, when it do come down to me editing for the radio, I only got to make a few slices. So basically, my you might hear... 50 bars straight before you actually hear a blip, blip, right there. Or you know what I mean? You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? saying? A quick little stop and go. And a person can still keep on right. vibing out, but if it's every few words, blah, 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 blah. No, dog. It's nah. not winning. That's not winning. That's, That's not, not winning. I lost the vibe a long time ago. Go. 30 seconds, I was already Yeah, because it. it's too many. Blah, blah. Niggas and, never, and, that's and, the wrong song to edit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> again, that's part of the plan. Process. Plan out your music. Right. Get a plan when you hit the studio. That's the first thing, man. Then you get a plan when you come out the studio. That yeah. you know, everything should be goddamn planned plan. up all the way through it, man. If this shit ain't gonna work we without plan. And a lot of people they thinking, well, uh, this person stole my line. No, man, it's you gotta understand. This person might be doing the exact same thing that you doing, but you see his career and your one. You need to, you got to evaluate. Like you said, you need to do some comparing. What's right. different in his music than my music? Right. And if you see oh, that it's What is his team doing better than my, my team? team. You, know what there, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's just like this. It's just like this, man. You see artists out here talking about they got this big-ass fan base. They got all these people that's following them. But damn, when them damn streaming resorts come in, sales come in, where is that fan base? Because ain't nobody getting it. None. That's not a real fan base, dog. That's not that's no. not it right there. A real you know? fan base is somebody who, even though your song is for free, right. they're gonna go pay for it just because of they a real fan. Right. You gotta I treat them like to that support too, this right. person. Right. I want this person to make it, and I know it takes money. So even though they CD is free, I'm still gonna give them ten dollars for it. Right. Y'all already know what it is. Your boy DJ Five Flame. Y'all live in the mix on the early morning grind show. Entertainer Records. DJ Drewski, man. We live right now, man. This is my boy right here. Trap out kid, my name ringing bells. Rex Production. Y'all hit that shut button, hit that vibe board, uh, button. Good morning to all the lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. Yeah, my name ringing bells. Yeah, my name ringing bells through the city. Ringing bells. I just got me a bell for me to sell. Don't catch your head smoking L's through the city. Smoking L's. Yeah, my name ringing bells. Like when you 
you coming up? Everybody mad at you. Fuck it, I ain't really wanna do it, but I had to. I'm stepping on they neck, applying pressure till it turned blue. They was hating on the jump, but now they showing gratitude. Bells, yeah, my name ringing bells through the city. Ringing bells. I just got me a bell for me to sell. I'm catching heads, smoking L's through the city. Smoking L's. Yeah, my name it's ringing bells. It's late as fuck outside. We ain't on the beach, niggas trying to catch waves. Give a surfboard, this a turf war. I'm taking over like a renegade. I smoke gas, I got hot today. Oh, thank God it's Friday. One turn like three, dropping October. It's gonna be mostly sunny, no more cloudy days. Niggas say I change my ways. Yeah. My name ringing bells. Dreads up, ball fade. Yeah. My name ringing bells. Dope shit, go frames. Yeah. My name A lot of people don't realize it's like you got to work for something. You got to want it, you know. I thank the man up above that I was able to change my life and do what I'm doing and got a second chance. But education, I educated myself. Even though I was in the streets, I educated myself. And I, you got to get your hustle. You got to build your brand and then get the opportunity. Like, you know, a lot of people don't recognize the opportunity if it's not a paycheck attack. Yes. Five years ago, I was dead broke. I ain't had money, so I couldn't smoke. I would be to my son, so I couldn't go. Talk down by my own vote. Now niggas spit number dope. I'm just trying to get paid for it. Who told me my time coming? All I gotta do is wait for it. I'm sick and tired of these pillars talking that nigga y'all boy broke for. for. Old Jerry wanna fuck another bitch, nigga boy they work holy for. for. I speak the truth, Jack cut the check. Trying to turn my boy to a vet. These niggas lying like they caught by this name rap. Boy you need no respect. You not connected to the dope gang. You left the girl for a hoe man. She gon' drop the top and let the titty show. Why you mad for she a city hoe? Mom told me quick get the dope. So I I fought nothing and forget the hoe Cause she went with me from the get go She just think a nigga got dope Five years ago I pulled a kick though Got my brother some Al Jones Mom was sick and everybody low Thought they said that they care for me Kilo hit the lick without me And they gave my nigga like 10 man Gotta take the check, I gotta run these bands I ain't got no heart, I'm like the 10 man Five years ago I was fucked up A lot of niggas changed and it fucked me up So that bullshit, no time for it Money, they drop and die for it That bullshit, no time for it all my niggas did that time for it. That bullshit, no time for it. Hey. Five years ago, I ain't ever died. Five years ago, I damn near lost my mind. Five years later, I'm on my grind. Five years later, I'm about to shine. Five years ago, five years ago, ago. Five years ago, 
Hey, what's good, y'all? This is Rick with the Five Points Block Party. I'm in the mix with Breaking Music Live, WBML Radio. <laughs> What you say control me Fuck around, turn me back to the old me All this fussy fighting, we need to stop it Can't lie, you show me the definition of a rider I'm starting to let what you say control me Fuck around, turn me back to the old me All this fuss and fighting, we need to stop it Can't lie, you show me the definition of a rider the arguments be irrelevant. We stacking dead presidents. Don't put them bitches in our business, baby. They just wanna be in your position. Tryna make you mad. The scrap we built and won't let them do it. When it comes to you, I'll be out of my feeling. Never had a bitch to wear the drugs, but I'm still with that type of thing. We gon' make a million. Pocket perk and dancing on the ceiling. Feeling money come from my palms. Yeah, you be riding with me against me. Can't be wildin' in public. Gonna feel like you don't trust shit. These hoes gon' pop this part of the game. Pay attention to your man, I'm just saying. Feel good taking it out, you paying. Hit the jeweler, got a flood out your Hand, won't you know I really appreciate how you hold me down and the money we make can tell you won't define the things cause you say it goes and try to achieve I won't steal you wrong please believe I'm starting to let what you say control me fuck around turn me back to the old me all this fussy fighting we need to stop it can't lie you show me the definition of a rider I'm starting to let what you say control me Fuck around, turn me back to the old me All this fuss and fighting, we need to stop it Can't lie, you show me the definition of a ride I swear, you don't want me turning back into the old me I bet you really don't want this going on, G Cause if you do, most likely I'ma leave you lonely On the sidelines, slobbing, dripping with a slow leak You're trying to control me, you done messed up Trying to confuse me, playing dress up. The boy he ain't going for it. Trying to take me off from my game. Your presence is getting annoyed. I'm thinking about switching lanes. You hating on my grind, but this for the two of us. Look like I ain't never did enough. But your digits up. Lord, in my witness, Joe. Had you looking like cinephiles. But you listen to all your girls. We gon' shit that they do not do. Oh, oh. I'm starting to let what you say control me. Fuck around, turn me back to the old me. All this fuss and fighting, we need to stop it Can't lie, you show me the definition of a rider I'm starting to let what you say control me Fuck around, turn me back to the old me All this fuss and fighting, we need to stop it Can't lie, you show me the definition of a rider Yo, 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 it's your boy DJ Five playing the early morning grind show. Entertain the rep. DJ Drew's getting that motherfucking building. What up, everybody? That was my boy Lyrics Nim right there, man. Low key 100 right there with that, uh, uh, old me. That's my favorite song right there from one of them, uh, from them guys out the park entertainment right there. Straight up, man. Much love to them guys. They, I interviewed them a few months back. Them guys cool as fuck. And I think they opening up for, let me, let me look at the live for y'all. I think they got, uh, yeah. Philip Wilson, yeah, he opening up. That's a uh, lyrics right there. That was who was singing on that track right there. They're gonna be opening it up for NBA Young Boy February the fourth club thirty eight thirty two oh eight in Huntsville. No, open mic, open mic. Okay, okay, okay. So anybody that want to try to get a spot for uh NBA Young Boy in March, I think he's gonna be here in March. Open mic at Club thirty two oh eight February the fourth, man. NBA young boy open mic man so he go you an opportunity and a big chance to get in front of a mega crowd cause they gonna pack that bitch out I think it's gonna be at Devon Brown I, I'm not for sure where that concert gonna be but I know they've been promoting that bitch since December and the concert in March and they own it man they got like some of the best promoters in the game Jalen Nunn and all them right there man promoting that show right there so yeah NBA young boy gonna be in Huntsville Alabama in March but this open mic for any local artist or any artist, man, that want that just want to try to get in front of a big, uh, big crowd. NBA uh, Young Boy open mic February the 4th. Y'all come out, man. Come out straight up. Man. So so what what, what I got to do, man? Low-key call, hit the phone lines up and let the people know what all they got to do, man, to be able to perform or get into that open mic. How many slots y'all going to have and all that shit. 
256-712-4404, man. Give us some more information about this open mic at 3208. Y'all boy got any birthday wishes y'all trying to get out today, man? Uh, let me see, man. I have one or two over here. Who who you got there? Uh, I want to give a shout out to L. Happy birthday. And What's... Crystal Irby, happy birthday. Already, hey. man. Who you say, Crystal Irvin? Yeah, Irby. Irby. Oh, okay, okay, Happy okay. Birthday. Happy birthday, man, from Breaking Music Live, man. You already know what it is, man. It's your boy DJ Fire. Who else you say you had? Uh, L. L. Okay, okay, okay. How old they turn? Did they show it on now? Uh, Crystal gonna be twenty seven. Oh shit, she fine. <laughs> she looking good by their profile, bitch. Now you know what I'm saying? Hey, ain't gonna lie. Who is it? Who is it? Yo, who, who you got right there? What's up, what's up, what's what's up, up with your team? What's up, what's up? Live, yeah, we yeah, live. Yeah, yeah, what's going on, man? man. Right, right, right. You already know what it is. Breaking news live, Devin B. A male radio. My homeboy T came in here, man. He said he got them dinner plates for y'all. Hey, how much them dinner plates going for? 750, man. 50. What you got on them dinner plates, dog? Hey, man, I got the meatloaf and I got some, uh. What's up, Johnny? Wait a minute, bro. <laughs> Okay. Cabbage and some cornbread, man. Okay. Old school. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
lesson In a body of blessing Kinda like an obsession Ain't no passive progression No, it's just love and affection Sucking and fucking in session Keeping that pussy, I'm stretching Scratching and pulling my necklace Stacking that paper like Tetris All of these feelings we catching All of these feelings we catching Don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go Baby, please don't For that, but you stuck in the past. Can you cut me some slack? What's more important, me and you or us as a couple? Let me stimulate your mind. It's nothing to fuck you. I had to play my cards right. I got lost in the shuffle. Turns out, baby girl, you the one that I'm stuck to. I had to play my cards right. I got lost in the shuffle. Turns out, baby girl, you the one that I'm stuck to. Don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Fuck 
A mean mug on my face like the Grinch, nigga. I didn't wanna stole Christmas on the nigga. What the fuck is that stench? Must be these broke niggas. I'm killing these niggas and not giving no reason. Valentine, all red team, we bleeding. Waking niggas up, no snooze this season. Always Thanksgiving, cause my team still eating. Looking for your pack, young nigga, then took it. Five star stats, not set up a rookie. Yeah, I got them ho ho hoes. My stats can't fold. Think I'm signing where I come for your cookies. I'm thinking that I'ma hurt them all. Think that they're feeling me. Keep the hammer close like the pistol was kidding me. A New Year's resolution on the camera is picking me. Halloween, cause my niggas be some goblins and gremlins. Nigga, I'ma go get the money like a bear. At the honey, hit a fork with the fold. That's dope, dealer money. Come Comedian with the flow, cause he broke niggas funny like a nigga like a stole Try to take something from a nigga I'm not Columbus, but I'm thinking I should stay today Green in my pocket like I'm counting St. Patrick's Day Go ahead in my lap, go ahead, do me a favor Bitch, you get on oral labor, you can call this shit a Labor Day A holiday, holiday Showing love to these dead presidents, nigga, like it's a holiday Holiday, double time still working, no off day Like it's a holiday, like it's a holiday Fourth of July, the way I let the chopper spray Black. Right quick, let me turn on one time. Jones, Jones. I'm coming back. Yo. Jones. Jones, ain't never been the type of young nigga to look back. This good facts, baby from the powder, no similac. This good every time I fall off a wet dog, I shook back. Yeah. Seven minded niggas that won't stop to get that. I'm original. Jones got crazy. Yeah. Blow down your girl, yeah. she go gay for lace. Yo, yeah. oh, I'm finna yeah. blow. Came all down yeah. the throat. Yeah. I ain't even tip. I'm the coldest that you know. Coldest that you know that can rip like this. Apologize, being saucy, watch your drip like this. Long dick up in your girl, I can hit like this. Oh, girl, I'm getting thick. I get like this. Yeah, check my cardio. Damn, I should've stopped. Let's be logical. Whole lot of guns. Robbed an arsenal. Change your plans like I done called an audible. Fuck that nigga. I ain't greeting these niggas. Make a nigga catch a charge while I'm beating these niggas. I gotta be blindfolded. I ain't seeing these niggas. Stay sleep. NT can't sleep on these niggas. Can't sleep on me, nigga. Nah. Eat the beat like a snack. Like, what is you feeding a nigga? What is you feeding this nigga? Yeah. And these niggas all pussy like a fat cat. In an all red cut, it's like a fat mat. Ooh. If you think your shit's sweet, you better scratch that 30 in a black mat. Aiming at your snapback, you can't even clap Yo. back. Pussy like a splash pad, begging me to tap that. And fast cars make a hit to get furious. Uh. Hyenas in the jungle, cause they smile when they serious. Max a pads, red dots, make them bleed like a period. No shield, I just started in beast mode. Always thinking paper like I'm hard at King Cole's. Married to the money and you broke nigga speed code. Knock, 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 sending shots to your peephole. Nigga, nigga, Jones, slow down, he's ahead of his time. These niggas mama rap, oh, not fucking with my murder charge on the beat for me, killing the rhyme. A transformer with my truck, look like Optimus Rhyme and Jones. See me back there showing out, nigga. Did y'all see me? Hold on, did y'all see me back there showing out? Did y'all see me back there showing out? Man, shout out to State Sleep Jones, Neil, man, for goddamn that one right there, yeah, boy. Had that boy back there, goddamn, scratching like a motherfucker, boy. Your boy DJ Drisky behind the scenes. Rise it, rise it, man. Hey, listen, listen, that video right there, we just got finished watching. You do not know what we had to do to get them four wheelers in this old abandoned school. It's an old abandoned school up there in Leeding. It's called Leeding uh, Training School, man. And that's where we shot that video at. If you could look at that video and you could tell we was inside of a school and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And it was crazy, man. Like, like, look, look, see it? Like, we couldn't get the folders in between them th doors right there. So we had to pick, literally pick them motherfuckers up. Like, Turn sideways. Man, it's crazy. Well, I'm, I'm gonna show it one more time to see what I'm talking about. Watch this. You see them doors right there? Yeah. That's what we were trying to get the, the folders wouldn't fit in that motherfucker. Yeah. Man, it's a window. See, it's a window. Oh, hold on. Yes, yeah, a window. It's a big ass fucking window, probably about six feet tall, nigga. I'm yeah. talking about. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. We had to take them forward about five or take them down forward, pick them up, and put them in the window. And then they still had to like when we picked them up about six feet in the air over our heads. Yeah. Goddamn, it still was a three foot little bit of drop right. off. It had to. Man. Y'all, hey, that. It was serious. What you gotta do to get them shots, though? Right, right. We got them shots, man. We got them shots, man. It took, it, it took, it took an act of Congress right there. It took some engineering. <laughs> Hell yeah, it did. Engineering. I'm talking about a whole lot of it. You already know what it is. Breaking Music Live, WBML Radio. That was my boy, Stay Sleep Jones, right there with that sucker free video. Y'all niggas need to stay sucker motherfucking free out here, man. Do not be no motherfucking hater. Listen, if your niggas doing good, don't hate on them. 
Help them out, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? And, and and maybe he'll bring you on beside him. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no like like in my crew, in my clique, we all stand side by side, you know. Ain't no one man head of, head of nobody, ain't no one man behind nobody. That's how you keep a solid crew. So man, don't don't be no sucker, man. That was that was John trying to tell y'all. Quit being sucker free to the real shit. Yeah, buddy. You know what I'm saying? In, in anyway, man, moving on, man, moving on, moving on, yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> What we got? What we got, man? This damn uh, no, 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 no. I I got a special song that came in through my email. We gonna we gonna rate this track right here from uh for King Luch. It's called Movie Bluff. I'm gonna download this track real quick. Let me get this track downloaded. Boom. We gonna rate this track right here from one to ten right here, man. Luch. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Life is like a movie, bro. Whoa. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. Yeah. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. I take a movie and do exclusive stuff. Yeah. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. Whoa. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. Yeah. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. I take a movie and do exclusive stuff. Yeah. Long kiss, good night, that's what I give my white bitch. bitch. Say only temptations is that black dick. Bitch. Nights like this, they just wish a bitch would make it rain. Yeah. That's when I go fired heartbeat, Eddie Kane. Yeah. I can't keep a job, I always buck on training day. They got the blow back from the boat up to the train them day. Well, because of your snakes hiding on the plane, keep them in my real view. Bump into some scar face while I'm watching that. Never kill her on the nigga that's gonna watch your back. Manny, tell a Chi Chi Brenna, yeah, your wife. Where I go loot the Chris Lorenz Tate and come and crash the spot. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. I take a movie and do exclusive stuff. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. I take a movie and do exclusive stuff. I'm the reason Stella went and got a groove by Put her on that color purple, got a move right. Yeah. Now all she wanna do is sit around that five five. Find out she like met the man off high high. A thin line between love and hate, they ain't nothing. Tell me what's love, gotta do it straight fuck. Say she don't wanna fuck me cause she like it shoot. I can buy the same thing E by you. All my life I was raised with boys in the hood. Now I'm a menace to society if you ask the judge. Before I had a chance to change, I was in too deep. That's why they gave me 10 years. What? State property. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. I take a movie and do exclusive stuff. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. I take a movie and do exclusive stuff. A couple bad bitches with me popping transformers. Now they dirty dancing for me like they lab before Straight from Italy with love, we had it straight to Florence. Instead of popping blue streets, Martin Lawrence. I ain't never been the cop, but I'm a bad boy. Can't be trying to find Nemo in a Jaguar. Four color girls sucking fucking everything. Call me James Earl Jones, bitch, the Lion King. I throw the Halloween party at my nigga high. Fuck Fred and Jason, bitch, I'm Michael Myers. Had the cracker show up like he Mike Myers. With the men and me and all, Austin Powell. I tell you, ain't no difference between hustle and float that. And if I don't make it flow, bitch, I'm a hustle more. More to come back, I guess I'm like that ice dude. Yeah, the winning lottery ticket, Ice Cube. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. I take a movie and do exclusive stuff. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. It ain't no secret, so my life is like a movie, bro. I take a movie and do exclusive stuff. Cut, cut, ain't so. Yo, 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 it's your boy DJ Five. Let me stop that track. Let me stop. Look, oh, no, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. I like that beat. Huh, 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 huh. Hey. It ain't no secret, so my life is like. Yo, 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 it's your boy, DJ Five Flame, early morning grind show. I got that boy, Entertainer Records, in the building. What up, what up? DJ motherfucking Drewski. Yo, yo, yo. Y'all already know who I am, man. And I'm rocking that Studio 44 gear. If y'all can see it, man, let me y'all check it out, man. Studio 44, man. Them guys out of Decatur, man. Them guys making a lot of noise, man. Straight up. So y'all fuck with them, man. They came through last weekend, weekend info last, something like that. Uh, what was it, last weekend? No. Weekend for last, yeah. Weekend for last, they stopped by and showed some love. Who is? They stopped by and uh, showed some love and goddamn, uh, 
drop your boy off some merchandise. So that, that's how it go down, man. You come to the station, man. You bring some merchandise, man. Put it in the stores, man. All that. What's up with your bud? Already in the building, man. Straight like that. Pull your chair up, man. Join the morning show, man. Join the morning show, man. Grab your chair right there, man. How you doing, man? Rise it, rise it, rise it. Early morning grind show, man. Look, what did y'all think about that track right there? We just got finished getting played, man. I like that beat. Rating it from one to ten, it's man. Bouncy. Yeah. I like that beat, real bouncy. Yeah, I like I like that beat, real bouncy. Yeah. You got that bounce. I like that beat. I like a. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it had a little smooth to it, you know. But uh, what you rating on that track? What you felt about that track? Uh, entertainment. Uh, man, I probably had to give it. A Maybe about a five, man. I gotta give it about a five, man. What What you thinking on it, Drew? I think it may be. A, I'm gonna give it a six. Okay. I like the track, but I like the other track he sent in yesterday. That movie bluff. I I, 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 I understood the concept and everything, but I like the bounce and the beat. I don't know. I, I, I'm rolling with a five myself, man. Five for me. Strong five, but I, I know his music too, man. He make good music also. I like I like that club little banger right there. Dirty got that hit. Yeah, it's coming. Hey, listen, listen. Uh, Chris, we got a new Dirty song also. We gonna be playing today also. Um, after Park Entertainment, was you able to get through the phone line? Let us know about that showcase you got going for uh on February the fifth. I can't get back into my thing. Look up there on uh, Facebook. Make sure that was the right day. Yeah, hit the phone lines up, man. Uh, hit the phone line up out the park entertainment, man, so we can get the information down to everybody that's tuned in that want to try to get in on that big-ass concert that's going to be out there in March. The NBA young boy going to be in Huntsville in March, but they're going to have an open mic at 3208 in Huntsville. That's the club 3208 in Huntsville. And my boy at the park entertainment supposed to be calling up and giving us some details about that whole how you can get signed up, how many slides, what it's gonna cost, cause you already know you gotta pay to play. NBA Young Boy come to town and they promote that bitch heavily. Trust me, I, I watch everything. I'm on the internet day in, day out, hardest working man with a cell phone. Straight like that. So make sure y'all be tuned in when uh out the park entertainment hit the phone lines up and let us know a little bit about how can you get your spot locked in right now for 3208 open mic for NBA Young Boy? Straight like that, man. You live in the mix with your boy DJ Five Flame, man. This is the early morning grind show, man. The early motherfucking morning grind show. Let me goddamn crank y'all up a little bit, man. Let me crank y'all up. How, how should I go this time, Drew? Should I crank them up or keep them easy right now? Let's go crank it up a little bit. Crank it up a little bit. Crank it up a little bit. He said crank it up a little bit. Nah, we gonna crank it up too early, man. It's already still early morning, man. Straight like that. Early like morning grind show, man. You like me, you need that cup of coffee for the morning. Yeah, because your ass showed up late as fuck. And <laughs> talking about you went home and went to bed early and shit. That's some damn lie. That's something <laughs> that go to Bell Bear, come in here, goddamn. Don't know. It, <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what I don't know what I, I said I'm a fire Mary Day, he ain't getting no goddamn unemployment. I promise you that mother found unemployment with me, man. Hey, I'm I'm finding a lawsuit. <laughs> For real. You didn't do not you did not do your damn job. Show up late, drunk on the job, high on the job, smoking cigarettes and shit. This shit finna stop. <laughs> this shit finna stop. You already know what it is. Breaking me the live that'll be your mail radio, man. <laughs> This early morning grind show, man. I need y'all to roll up, pull up, man. It's almost 12 o'clock, man. <laughs> it's time to get drunk and high. Can we <laughs> talk? Like can we chill? <laughs> Smoke a blunt. Tell me I need to know so I ain't got to hunt. Give me a good discussion. I'm going to be up front. Just be honest with me, baby. Ain't no need to stun. And once you try to fake it, you ain't going to make it. Keep my mouth closed and I'll still drive you crazy. Got my heart on safety. Don't think I'm being shady. Cause even when you show them love, they still try to play you. Can we talk? Can we chill? Have a drink? Smoke a blunt? Let me know how you feel. Wanna feel how you touch? Wanna know yeah. if we fuck? Would you get in your feelings or would you kill it? Cause it said wasn't enough. Feel this shit in your gut. You just gotta be patient. You think that I'm playing? I ain't with that chasing. You know I got bitches lined up from the back to the front, but you ain't got the time if it's wasted. I think yeah. that's amazing. You ain't like these women. You got your own shit, plus you handle your business. I go to the truck, take a lick on the dike, call your phone, get it back, cause you know I'ma flip it. Know that you different. Know that you came from the trenches. Your daddy hardly paid attention. Your mama never took the time out to tell you she love you, but that don't tell you that she. 
she didn't You want recognition, I recognize I Put it out to be televised Now you fucking with me, got your old nigga bugging That fought it like pesticide Better tell him to let it ride Yo, 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 breaking music live, WBML Radio. What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy Lyrics for Out the Park Entertainment. What's happening? What's happening with your homie? Tell me, tell me something good and stick to it. Uh, look, man, February 4th, man. Uh, NBA Young Boy Open Mic. Anybody that wants to uh sign up, they need to get in touch with Shaniqua Ferrari. Shaniqua okay. Ferrari. She's on Facebook, and I'm sure if they go to the 3208 website or Facebook page, they can uh, check out the flyer. Should be up there already for that coming up. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. If they're interested in trying to do that, it's gonna be big, man. Everybody, everybody wants a slot, so you know what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know now. I don't know if all the slots have been filled, but if they want to call, check on that. That's 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 what I'm. That's what they need to do. What type of prices are we looking at? Whoa, to open uh, up probably, right probably now. Probably around about probably about just just to be in the open mic. It's probably about twenty five. Okay, that ain't bad to get a spot at. Uh, yeah, so, that ain't yeah. So how they gonna how how they gonna judge that? How they gonna sit, consist that on? I believe they I believe they got three judges. Uh, three judges supposed to be out there. Uh, I'm not exactly sure who's judging the competition. But I know that uh, I know Shaniqua will be one of them, and I believe Young Roe will be out there. Okay, 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 okay. Most like and most likely the third judge might be Joski Love. You know what I'm saying? Because he put with 3208 like that. Right, right, right. That's right. that, that gonna be sweet then. So yeah, so they are gonna have a judging yeah. panel, man. So what? It's gonna be you know you, you know all the. The, the, the areas of, of, of what, what's going to be judged on? What it's going to be judged on and stuff? Uh, performance performance, and your crowd participation, man. That's why they, they, they uh, stress bringing people with you, you know what I'm saying? Bringing your crowd with you because crowd participation, is a, that is a major plus. Yeah. Major plus. So that's and have your performance together, you know what I'm saying? Have your have you, have you shit right, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And this taking place well? Club 3208, February 4th kind of killing me because the same day is a Super Bowl but hell I'm, I'm gonna go out there and <sighs> gotta make it happen oh so you gonna you, you got your slot too yeah hell yeah we got us a slot <laughs> I know that's real yeah. I know and that's then, hey, real that, that, that don't go well hell that don't go well we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna kick that, kick that paper out there and see what right. we gotta do we're gonna get up there oh you you, you getting on stage huh <laughs> Uh, we go one way, we gonna find out a way, God. Yeah, I know that real big dog. So we gonna keep that paper out, real nigga shit, man. No, That's how you do it, straight up, uh, yeah. man. So, so this February the fourth, Club Thirty Two Hundred Eight Open Mic. Club Thirty Two Hundred Eight. Yep. You, you, so tell them to check out check out the Club Thirty Two Hundred Eight's uh, Facebook page too, because uh, the flyer should already be up there. And remember, if they can look up Shaniqua Ferrari. Shaniqua Ferrari. Okay, okay, okay. That's the promoter, right? Yeah. Yeah. And where the concert gonna be? That's, and that's be for that, Go ahead. Where's the concert gonna really actually be at for young, uh, uh, young boy? Oh shit! Yeah, it's gonna be out there. Oh hell! Well damn. They, 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 they just doing the open mic at the thirty two oh eight. Oh shit! They finna turn Decatur all the way the fuck up then. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be it in Decatur. Do you do you know what day they gonna be on? Uh, the four, I'm assuming a Sunday here yeah, to get, well, that's the, no, nah, I mean, the, the NBA Young Boy concert. I'm not sure what date, what day that is. Mm -hmm. I know it's in March, but, uh, the open mic is on a Sunday. Okay. That's, that, cause that's all the information I had on it, uh, NBA Young Boy, the date and stuff was like, it's going to be in March and stuff. So, yeah. 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 They had just did the start of this open mic thing, like maybe like two weeks ago, a week and a half ago or something like that. Right. 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 So I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's almost about filled up then, huh? <laughs> It might be, it might be, but I'm saying, you know, money talk, you know what I'm saying? Bullshit, yeah. walk a thousand miles, man. Yeah. Right about that. <laughs> <laughs> you you know, if they get in touch with Shaniqua, they get in touch with Shaniqua, then she might be able to work something out, let them know if all the slots are filled and stuff, because I don't have that information. Right, 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 right. So do you go to Club 32 a, a lot? Uh, we've been going, man. We 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 went down there, man, opened up for Lil Baby when he came down. Okay. Uh... We had to win an open mic to do that too, man. Yeah, we uh, we go out there a lot, man. Get the VIPs, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Y'all bring a big crowd with y'all too. 
Man, I at least bring at least six females with me every time. Right, Jaleel. <laughs> you know, I know that's real. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that shit in a couple, couple of niggas roll with us or whatever, but shit, man, I be worried about bringing the females out. Really, right, 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 right. They gonna love, they, 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 they gonna love that music, ain't they, man? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Right, 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 man. I appreciate you calling in, man. What's the hot in and uh, Hold on, hold on. You got any shout outs before you get up out of here, man? Uh... Let me give a shout out to WBML Radio, man. I'm going to give a shout out to y'all because y'all doing some things, man. I like this new morning talk show y'all got going on here. I normally sit and watch Sports Center, but shit, I've been listening to y'all all morning, man. man that's so, love, uh, that's love, that's love. I hope, I hope I like what y'all got going on. Shout out to y'all. Man, I, I hope we gave some positive information, man, something that's, that, that, that's usable, man. Oh, absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. Right, right, man. Much love to you, man. Hey, let the people know what you tuned into right now, man. WBML Radio. All right, big homie, man. I appreciate you coming in, man. Give us some details on that open mic. 3208, man. Make sure y'all be there February the 4th, man. This is After Park Entertainment. This is my guys right here, man. I interviewed them, man. Like I said about a couple months ago, man. The boys doing big things. Like they said, they opened up we'll a big bad elbow. Y- y'all, co- you coming back? Oh, we'll be back. We'll be there. Hey, hey, hey. You definitely going to have to come sit in on the morning show with us, man. No doubt, man. No doubt. We'll be in touch, player. All right, appreciate it, homie. All right. Y'all already know what it is. Breaking Music Live, WPML Radio, man. So, yeah. Shanika Ferrari, man. That's who you need to get in touch with right now if you want to try to get you a spot locked in for the NBA Young Boy concert in March. It's going to be huge. Indicator. Straight up. So, hit up Shaniqua Ferrari, man, right now, man. The open mic going to be at Club 3208 in Huntsville, and that bitch going to be live. You know what I'm saying? They got bottle girls and all that shit. <laughs> you know, they're going to be walking around in little things and stuff like that. Yeah, get that, man. If I was an artist and they charge $25, shit, I would give me some folk, give me about 15 people. We going. Yeah. Especially if I'm balling. If I'm balling. And I, I, I'm getting the bag, like I said, in my raps. I'm getting the bag. Yeah, I'm paying, I'm paying for everybody to come. I'm paying yeah. for everybody to come, baby. We finna get in front of the guy, the NBA young boy, before he come on. Yeah, buddy. We gonna be that last act to come on before we NBA young boy come on. You see what I'm saying? Like, like, like my man said, shit, nigga. If, if, if we don't win the open mic, we go, we, we gonna spend that money. <laughs> that what he said. We gonna, we gonna spend that motherfucking money some way, somehow. That, and I like that. I like that, man, because if a man say he gonna spend that money regardless, nigga, that's for real. It ain't just because. My business collect money, you know what I'm saying, and, and we we got services, but it's just respect as an artist, man. That you would go that extra length. Yeah, you you, you gonna start off right here with the twenty five dollars. Now don't let me get the twenty five dollars. I'm gonna show you all this money I be talking about. I got these bags and shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm gonna show you. You know the opportunity <laughs> here. You even gonna drop a whole bill on that thing, right man. I'm gonna give y'all a hundred. Right, shit. let me just open up, man. Y'all already projecting to have so yeah. many people here. Let me, let, me, let me give me probably about a 10, 10 to 15 minute slot in here. Yeah. Three songs. Hell, shit, I don't give a fuck. Let me, get in here. <laughs> hell, shit, yeah. let me in here if I was an artist. Because, like, you don't get really big opportunities like that around here. Mm-hmm. And then, then some of the opportunities that come around here be shady as fuck and shit like that. So, $25 to open up, maybe, you know. Go try it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can only. Yeah, it's gonna be some bitches in there. It's gonna yeah. be yes or no. Right, it's a little yes or no. You, you scared of yes or no? You better quit living. Yeah, you better quit. <laughs> <laughs> you you better hold your breath for a while. Kill yourself. Kill yourself, nigga. Like for real. <laughs> like for real. Hold, hold your breath for a while. Bro. Yeah, right, right, right. You scared to hear them words, man. So right. wrong, man. This, this ain't damn sure ain't the business for little, little old goddamn little skin, little, little thick skin and shit. You know? Yeah, because you go hear no. It ain't even yes. The main word you're scared of is no. No. And if you yeah. scared of that word no. Then you like, can't deal with yes. You 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 need to kill yourself because yeah. you got a problem. Right. You got a major problem because everybody ain't gonna say yeah. Nah. Especially when they start moving up the ladder to these big folks. Right. You ain't gonna hear yeah real all easy, the time. Man. You know nah. what I'm saying? It, it ain't gonna skill. come easy. Nuh-uh. So you gonna have to prove yourself. They might say no the first time, but if you show that shit, I took your notes. I took you no. Right. But I'm coming back. Right. You know what I mean? Do I have to come back with some cash or do I have to come back? You know, how, you know how better you got, yeah. up, right, 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 right. But I'm coming right. back. I'm not gonna accept. And I'm gonna I'm take if, that. If you note. tell me no, I gotta prove myself to you to tell yeah. give, 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 get that yes yeah, out of you. Yeah, I gotta turn you to a yes man. Yeah, damn right. Some kind of way. Yeah, you gonna tell me, motherfucker? Yeah. Say, if you if they say no and you well fuck man fuck them I'm gone fuck rapping man yeah. fuck all they doing is gonna pick somebody from this city yeah 
Yeah. No, nigga, that's bad attitude. Yeah, that, you you ain't gonna make it nowhere. That's no. why you ain't got signed. <laughs> hey, <laughs> right, you live. How you trying to get signed? But you don't want to hear the word no. Then you got a problem. Uh, pimping <laughs> with your stacks and bags and shit. Yeah, talk about you doing this, and you moving weight, nigga. You stacks you and this. bags. And I got uh, racks, nigga. Move, move it on over to my bank. Yeah. 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 I got yeah. tickets. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, where is it at? Yeah. What you mean, hey. traffic tickets? I was trying to say traffic tickets. Yeah. 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 And they're talking about pray for me. I got to go to court and shit. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, you got traffic tickets. Yeah, nigga. basically. <laughs> you need prayers for it, nigga. You know, you know, you, you know, got you got to You been going to spend like seven years in prison, nigga. Over a broken tail light. <laughs> man, get the fuck out of here. These yeah, niggas are killing me, man. I ain't the type of joking, man. You know, but God damn. This gotta, shit crazy. You gotta come with it, man. Yeah, for man. Real. Like for real, but some you know, every opportunity don't come with a paycheck. Y'all seen what happened to uh, what's that one group? Them fly boys. They opened went up there to their open mic, and then they think though they opened it up for young blood, all kind of folks, right. big name folks. You know what I'm saying? Got, oh, that is just got got one open mic. Yeah, one open mic, and they took the opportunity, and just so happened, then they win it. They yeah. won it, didn't they? Yeah, they got to open up for big names, man, and you take those opportunities. Yeah, you got to pick and choose them because you never know. You got to understand who promoting the product, who promoting the show. You know, yeah. you, you do your background check on these folks, man. Yeah, because yeah. I know everybody out here struggling. Cool. Yeah, we all struggle, man. Cool, cool. We all know that. We all understand that, but this is a business. Yeah, this is the business. Your struggle, I can't... I uh, can't handle it. <laughs> if, I let, if, I, if I take your struggle into into empathy or sympathy on you, oh, man, Lord, we're going then to you going to mess around and make me struggle because I'm trying to do stuff Lord, for free and try to get handouts. Now, we both struggling, man. man. I'm not trying to be in that boat with you no more. I was there one time. I done got out of it, and I damn sure ain't going to let you take me back to I it. can't struggle with you. No, I can't struggle with you. I'm sorry. I'm I sorry. I can help you. Help you. I can struggle. <laughs> I can't struggle with you. No, can't do it. And, and and in the music business, it's like you can't you can't use everyday life because like music, you got to be told no. Yeah. This shit ain't right. Yeah. The shit don't sound right. You got to be told that. Yeah, definitely that. You know, in life, in life, like you know, you can walk around. People ain't got to tell you. You got yes means. Yeah. You know, you got yes means in music, but when you dealing with real motherfuckers, real people that got power and got you know can do shit, they gonna tell you ass no fast, fast, nigga. Like with an attitude, no, nigga. What the fuck is this? This garbage. Get this shit out. Of they might slam your shit out of window like a fridge. And, 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 and that shit is true. Yeah. Shit happened because they know better. You know now you ready to fight? Cause see, cause see, the first of all, you you don't go to nobody that's above. You know what I'm saying? That they, they, they got they got levels. With bullshit. Yeah, you don't do that. You don't do that. You, you need to start off small. Make sure, make sure you get rate my motherfucking raised. track, nigga. Yeah, you make sure you <laughs> come get to rate my motherfucking track all the way yeah. through before you yeah. step through to them. Right. Don't just take it from the press and try to go straight to them. Right. You finna wind up in a hurt feelings, some yeah, real man. hurt feelings. Yeah, man. So take every opportunity as like it ain't gonna come with a paycheck, but look at it like this, man. Exposure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you go in there with the attitude of well, I'm just gonna go perform. Okay, you ain't gonna get shit out of it. You go in there with, all right, I'm finna meet the promoter. I'm finna meet the DJ. I'm finna, I'm finna mingle with the crowd for a few minutes. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm gonna see who is the boss around this bitch. Yeah, I'm finna start you know? rubbing some dress and show. Yeah, they are right. I'm finna go I, with the smoke. elite. I wanna brush shoulder with the elite. I yeah. wanna know who is the elite in this bitch. If you on that hole, man, I'm just me. I'm coming to perform. Right, I'm right. I got my clique with me. We all, you know. We yeah. all thug out, gangs. Don't talk to you, us. You don't losing to already, us. dog. Yeah, you already lost. Open mic, open mic. Got so many opportunities you can get in because whoever holding that open mic evidently do open mics. Yeah. Now you could get off that twenty five dollars and be that one and come in there and just and, and be that one that got down other people gonna pay to open up for you. Yeah, and like Eminem told you, you got one shot. Don't miss yeah. your chance to blow. And the thing about open mics is. This is the open mic opportunity, but if you get online and do some research, you'll find out that there's a lot of open mic contests right here locally, Tennessee, Georgia, I different areas, Smurf, you know what Smurf I'm World down there right now, and here go another, hey, dropping dimes right here, man. Smurf World down there in Atlanta throwing niggas on flyers. If you don't know who Smurf World is, go follow him on Instagram, fuck with number major, and he doing showcases all during the week for free. The thing about it, nigga, you need to show up. Yeah, show up. They do them on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. See how, how, how loyal niggas is to the game. To the music game, and you gonna pull up on a Tuesday? Yeah. Oh, your show all oh, gotta be on the weekend? No, I'm coming in the day. I'm telling you, Smurf World and them down there putting niggas on. Yeah. Right now in Atlanta, they throwing parties down there, they throwing open mics every weekend. Go to go to Instagram right now and small uh follow Smurf World with 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 the blue check on his name. You'll see it. And trust me, he down there giving out opportunities every fucking day of the week. If you wanna get on. You want to get your music heard. You want some exposure. You want to rub shoulders with the elite, with the people that fucking with other people that got levels to themselves. Yeah, that's a good place to start out. And just like up there in Huntsville, that woman, uh, 
Shaquita, uh, Sha- uh, Sha- 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 what do you say the name? Shaquita Ferrer. Shanika, yeah, I said for real, didn't I? <laughs> Shanika Ferrari, man, she been doing it for a while. I had, uh, I had went up there with Swag back in 2016 and met her, man. And I be goddamn, Swag did a performance, and everybody in the club, you know, what I'm saying a lot of different artists, and, and most of them, some of them knew me and shit. They come up and shaking my hand and shit like that, and all that shit right there, hold it right there, and shaking my hand and shit like that. And she was like, shit, who? Oh, uh, you DJ Five Flame? Oh, breaking me like hell, yeah. This bitch gave, I mean, gave me the damn mic and threw me on stage. I was like, what the hell? I'm like, damn. Told me, look, get up here and tell the people what you do. They didn't know everything about you, you, man. She cool people, man. She gave you an opportunity right. just like that. For free. You know I came saying? up there with Swag. He was on an open mic thing. We were trying to win an open mic to open up for, I think it was Do or Die or somebody. It was, it was, it was one of the artists she was holding an open mic last year. No, in 2016. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying, man. You got to take those opportunities, man. And she gave me the mic through me on stage and told me, hey, tell the people what you do. Shit. I went up there and told the people what I do. Passed out my car. I come in there with business cards, everything, you know. She seen the- instantly he's professional. He's right. real about it. He come prepared. Right. He got, you probably had your logo right. all yeah. on you. Swag. You had your card. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You came ready to do some work. And when we left, I had a card in every window. Every window. Every window. <laughs> Every you know window me. Before I left out of here you, When you open your damn door up That car was set right there yeah, Waiting for you Right You right. ain't got no toy but to I'm gonna fucking throw it on the ground I'll buy more yeah, <laughs> But you, you gonna see it You, you saw it. it Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. yeah You already know what it is man Breaking Music Live WBML Radio Opportunities don't always come with a paycheck And some opportunities do come with a paycheck Pick and choose man Some you gotta pay Some you don't You see what I'm saying it's music, man. It's about building relationships, man. That relationship will carry you way farther with money than money will ever carry you in yeah, this game, man. Definitely that. I and promise to, you. To speak on that subject, another you know how we were talking about the artists earlier about, you know, things that they need to do. One right. thing artists need to do in this genre is work with other artists. Right. It's right. like a person would get a click and they feel like we That's can't we work with, with this person. We can't. We don't want to work with that person. Man, you need to be on the internet. You need to be trying to find anybody that you feel is of quality and try to get some music with them. Whether you have to pay them or they do it for free. Because simple reason is, you over here with a thousand followers, they over here with sixty thousand followers. <laughs> as soon as you do a track with them, you do the math. You do. The, you know what I'm saying? You do the math. You, you do the math. the game. You a fan base. Yeah, you might have paid this person two, three hundred dollars, and that's another thing. Don't be afraid to pay another man, even though you think he on the same level as you, because this you is a business. Because he see him every day, yeah. they feel like we on the same level. Yeah. That don't mean shit. I'm locally yeah. don't mean we on the same level. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shit. You need to respect this man grind. Just like if you co- if he came to you, you gonna want a price. Right. Just like if they come, you go to them, they gonna want a price. You can't be like, man, they paying it, dog, man. He he ain't doing them. You just. He might be grinding harder than you. Yes. And his followers, his fan is harder, you know what I'm saying, is way bigger than yours. So if you working with this person, the minute he dropped that song on his website or whatever, it, all 60,000, 100,000 followers finna listen to it. Who that cat is? Now they finna go looking for you. Right, right. And now, okay, when you drop it on yours, with, yeah. with your 2,000 followers, and that's why a lot of artists <laughs> look at it that way. They, If you basically ain't got a decent fan base, they don't do nothing for you because they feel like they going backwards. Right. You ain't. I'm not gaining nothing. You only got a hundred fans, they, they, man. They, I got ten thousand. Why would I go do a song with you for with a hundred fans? That's not, they, they, that's, that's not gonna business. make me grow. That's, that's gonna send me that's backwards. Picking you up. I'm picking you up. You, you know, know what I mean? Yeah. And see, and I, 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 I was faced with that. Right. We uh, we was, you know, we did a lot of music with OG side, block beaters, all that up there. Right. And you know, they did you know music with Yellow Wolf stuff like that. And, you know what I mean? It was right when Yellow Wolf was sort of becoming hot. Right. And we reached out, you know, like asked you know them to can they contact Yellow Wolf manager and ask can we get a track you know with Yellow Wolf? And they straight up told us. We looking to work with bigger names. In other words, your name is not big enough. enough. Is you gonna gain more from it than, than we, we will? will. Yeah, so a therefore, a we cannot do that. Right, right. And right. you and we didn't get mad. We had to respect that. You know what I mean? How did that feel? How did that make you feel though, as a man and with with, 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 with a product? It made me feel actually feel like good. To, it made real. me feel good because it let me know that where we stood, we needed to grow. Because if we want big names on there. We need to grow our business. We need right. to grow our brand. You know what I mean? Was y'all trying to get it for free or what? No, nah, we paying. We was going to pay him. But like he said, it's, you ain't on, you know what I mean? You Your, levels ain't ain't Your levels ain't up. I'm on level here, you know what I'm saying? So if you was like on B, I probably would have worked with you. But you still on A, bro. So therefore, I can't really work with you because we, 
going up there. Like I said, if we would have done a song with Yellow Wolf, how much, you know what I'm saying? We would have gained a shit ton from it. Right. Yellow Wolf wouldn't have gained nothing from it. Right, but so a little bit money, of money. You know what I'm saying? But money. But that, in the industry, it ain't all about money. Yeah, I'm so loud. Because when you that. get them fans, the money going to come. Right. So therefore, it actually made me feel. About 10 seconds, I felt salty because I heard the word no. Because, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hold on, hold on, How many seconds? About 10 seconds. <laughs> hold on, you going to get away from this one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, Yo, you ain't going to get away from this motherfucker you know right now. So, then so, I, so, so that salty moment. For yeah, 10 that, seconds, that salty ass fucking moment. Yeah, like, moment. man, I can't believe that nigga did. But the, then I had to respect hurt? it. Nah, it is. He just, yeah, don't pop. It didn't even start popping. But the little throat still kind of, you know, the throat did get a little swole up. Like, man, this motherfucker, he'll got You know what I'm saying? Did y'all offer money first? Or how did y'all come about the situation? Uh, be honest with you, I really don't know how uh, Block Beater presented it to him because we went through Block Beater, you know, oh. STLG side, you know what I mean? Because they was real in contact, and I was like, hey, bro, if you don't mind, could you reach out to him and just say, you know, we willing to do it. But she knew that we paid because anything we ever done with them, we paid. It wasn't never no free. Some of it was free after we started paying, Pain, yeah. you know what I mean? So we work. build a relationship. Relations. So they, well, they would do so, some so free stuff farther. or they would do some stuff because the first time they shot us yep. a video, it was $750. But then when we went back for the second one, I'm going to knock you a $250 discount because you're coming back. We got the second one for $500. The first one, we was able to get Lil John in it. We got the whole click in it. You know what I'm saying? They showed out for us on our first video. You know what I mean? For $750. You can't beat that. You know right. what I mean? Yeah, with, I with what they brought, you know, HD cam, you know what I'm saying? They, they drove all the way from Huntsville downhill to our spot, brought Jackie everybody. We was in the clubs. Then we went up to the Ace Hood. They made sure they had a place set up. They Like all the stuff that we was in that video, they did for us. Like this, hey man, Lil John performing night at the club. Why don't y'all come up here and shoot the rest of the video? That way we can get Lil John. We was in VIP with Lil John. Right. You know what I mean? They they hooked us up. We was in the club chilling with Lil John. We had Lil John, the crunkest motherfucker in the right, south, right, in right. our music video. Right. So nobody from Sheffield had Lil John <laughs> in the video. <laughs> yeah, yo. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know how awesome <laughs> that is. Yeah, yeah. He what? throwing shots in niggas' mouths and shit. No, and they did this, they did this for us. You know what I yeah, mean? Right. Yeah. Because of the relationship we built with them. I mean, like right. I said, when that yellow wolf turned us down, it hurt for two hell. seconds. But yeah. then I had to respect the game. It's because, like we said, yeah, was it instantly you instantly you jump back into reality? Yeah, well, okay, I, I respect this shit. Good, you had to jump back into reality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this yeah. is business. This ain't yeah. friends. He don't know us. We know them, but he don't know shit about us. Right. He can if he YouTube is he gonna see what we got one mixtape, we got one video. <laughs> right. 300 so, views. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you I know, can't we, fuck with these guys for no money. You know, money or nothing. I can't because it's not going, I'm not going to benefit from it. And if I, if I ain't benefiting, I, I can't do it. That's business. Just, yeah, and that's why I said it was salty for a split second, but then it was back to reality, real business. This is business. This is not personal. So to this day, I still fuck with Yellow Wolf. I bam him. You know, most niggas, man, fuck Yellow Wolf and never would, man. They never would watch this video. I'm still, I will. As soon as that nigga drops something, I'm going to get it. You're going to get it. Because I'm fuck with Yellow Wolf. Yeah. Regardless of whether he turned us down or not. You know what I'm saying? And, and what year this was? This was right before, this was right after he dropped Trump music. You know what I'm saying? All that Trump music. Right. Him and Bun B was, you know what I'm saying? Right, banging right. out, man. You right. know what I'm saying? He banging millions and millions of views. You know what I'm saying? So... It was, man, it was way back then. It was probably about 2010, 11, something like that, when he really just started taking the fuck out. But you did, but you did build a relationship with with, with a middleman to be able to get in contact with. Yeah, them, just to know. be able to get in contact. Relationship. If, relationship. if it wouldn't have been for them, we wouldn't even never got to be able to told no. Yeah, you right, know what I'm saying. Right. So off a relationship. Yeah, off a relationship, relationship. We was able to be told no yeah. by a superstar. Right. And then at one time, I I actually got in touch with DJ Khaled. Was gonna get him to host our mixtape. He wanted ten thousand dollars. I had ten thousand dollars. I was going to give him, but when I said, "What comes with this ten thousand dollars?" Rightly, are you gonna promote it just yeah. as well as my company gonna promote it? And then he kind of started getting a little smart. You know what I'm saying? Trying to play me like I I'm was Cali, broke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm Cali, you know, bro. I, I understand that, but are I'm your team gonna, gonna give push it you too? Ten thousand dollars. You gonna put it on your Instagram? What are you gonna do other than? We the best <laughs> on the first of the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I, I need to at least know what my money finna pay for. And like I said, he kind of got all salty and crazy. And I was like, all right, bro, all right. you know what I'm saying? That's 10000 You missed it. I'm pretty sure he ain't missing it. It's DJ Khaled. Right, but right. you know what I mean? He ain't missing it. You turned me away because you felt like I wasn't going to be able to come. Because I guess he felt like I was asking these questions that I was trying to be played like I was broke. No, nigga, I had 10 racks in cash, in the brick, still in the bank van, ready to hand you. 
Right. But because we was low level, we didn't have that name. So and no could, relationships with anybody. With anybody. And I'm just hitting them up on MySpace. <laughs> and you know what I mean? And he literally, how much you charge to do? 10 racks. I got you. What it come with? Man, what you better? All right, bro. Just, we we going to leave it at that, man. We... So what would you expect out of them ten racks? What would all would you like? You, you said expect? just a little bit promote. You ain't gotta go. Cr- are you gonna, like you said? At least put it on the website. You know what I'm saying? Or you or put it on your website. Say Instagram. something about the paper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit promotion. Not just I'm well, gonna put Wayne, my voice yeah. on it and then hand it back to you and you on your own. Right. Nah, bro. I just paid you ten thousand. At least should get put on the website. Like your website, or you contact the DJ and like you know what I'm saying something. You should you know ten racks. You know what I mean. You should at least do one piece of promotion. <laughs> if you know, or can I get a picture with you or something? Like, can I get some other than you screaming on my track ten thousand dollars? I wouldn't expect no arm and a leg. You know what I'm saying. You can go to DJ Drama right now and buy one of his packages. And he's gonna like you. You know what I'm saying? You right. gonna promote me. Right. If I pay you or whatever, you the gonna promote me. Say, I'm gonna do some type of promotion yeah. that gonna come with. Yeah, if I go and I say I feel. DJ Flame, I want you to produce my mixtape. You at least gonna be like, man, you paid me all my money, you know, with no hassle. Now, I now, 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 when I get my bread up, nigga, I ain't promoting shit. Nigga, you better pay me all my change. Nigga, I ain't promoting. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Don't believe me, man. Don't believe me, man. This is the, hey, hey, roll up, pull up, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it was, you know what I said? I done had a few incidents with the mainstream. And the state, you know what I'm saying? I respect Yellow Wolf a lot better than I did DJ Khaled because the way he acted about the situation, he wasn't very professional, you know what I'm saying? Keep it professional, bro. You, you starting to talk a little crazy. I ain't finna try to argue with you over right. it. I'm just trying to spend some money with you, right? Right, right. Relationships, man. So like I said, man, money don't really actually matter in the music game. Shoot, no, it, it do. It play a hell of a role. It play a hell of a role, but relationships will outweigh money any time in this music Definitely. game, man. Definitely. Because you can get your foot in the door with a relationship. Yeah, with a relationship. It's just like being, fit, uh, being, 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 being like a rich kid. Yeah. You know, you like Fun Word uh, Bender. Fun Word Bender, he got on with P. Diddy because he was just showing up all the time where Diddy was at. And he said he called it out. He show up, you know, it might be a black and white party, but he's showing up all these crazy color big boy, you know. Right. Same type of money spent on his clothes as they do. And he, he said he basically just started picking with Diddy. You know what I'm saying? You mm. wish you could dress like me, blah, blah, blah. Right. And next thing you know, he working for Diddy. He said he got down and out. He fucking around and just so happened somebody gave him Diddy number and he hit him up and shit. Diddy was like, shit, come to this address. And he went and it was on from there. All because he just kept putting himself in front of P. Diddy. Mm-hmm. And do I say the relationships, man? It's the relationships. Y'all already know what it is. Breaking Music Live, WBML Radio, man. Y'all already know what it is. Morning Grind Show, man. We've been in the building, man. Y'all check this song. I call my rock, man. For my guy right here, man. Rap to the rapper. Bro, I'm tired in because I know I'm a sweat so. Gators out the house, got me to a 13 zone. My new little room. My new little room. Ain't no rock crying out in my place. No praise, got the cross crying out. Ain't no praise going up. Bless coming down. No, I've been loaded. Probably with the wrong way. Ain't no rock crying out in my play. Hey, turn up your lawn. Yeah, cause you know that he's worth it. Hey, hey, here for the Lord of our Lord. King of all kings, creator of all men. Looking back on my life, can't see nobody but God. Hey, amen. Hey, amen. Ain't no rock crying out in my play. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, oh We, we gon' praise His name, we gon' live for more, oh Praise is what I do, what I do Ain't no rock crying out in my place Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, oh We, we gon' praise His name, we gon' live for more, oh Praise is what I do, what I do Ain't no rock crying out in my place Hallelujah, all praise to the most high. This ain't just for no weekend show. Still real for that low life. Serve a God over second chance. Ain't know your plans, but you change mine. And that's why. Ain't no rock crying out in my plan. Tell him I rep for the king. When I was lost and I needed a helping hand and a perfect plan. That you stood in the midst while I was too near. You moving, didn't see it. Water stirring, push me a blind man. Not seeing miracles, but leave. Ain't no rock crying out in my your lawn, yeah, cause you know that he's worth it. Hey, hey, this for the Lord of our Lord, King of all kings, creator of all men. Looking back on my life, can't see nobody but God. Hey, amen, hey, amen. Ain't no rock crying out in my play. M- m- make a joyful noise unto the Lord, oh. We, we gon' praise his name, we gon' live for more, oh. Praise is what I do, what I do. Ain't no 
know what it is man i love that song right there man rapper the rapture the rapper right there man that was my first hold on that was my first interview right there i ever got uh ever interviewed a gospel rapper man and that's who that was right there man i love that song man what did y'all think about that track right there i love the track i love it the day you premiered it on this phone i was i was oh uh, you were watching yeah i was watching the day you premiered this it was okay the day, man you, 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 you been following us, haven't you, man? Yeah, bro, I stay on y'all. Right, right, since right. Since right. you started this, I've been yeah. following you, bro. I told you I've been a fan since day one, shit. Rise it, rise it, man. I was, I was a fan before you even started, because right. I remember when you get it all set up and everything, right. get your cameras and everything. Rise it, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Early morning grind show right there, man. Straight up, man. Look, 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 man. I appreciate everybody that's tuned in. I appreciate everybody that came through. Fuck with us. My boy, uh, DJ Drewski. <laughs> he, he's still on the chopping block, y'all. Still on the chopping block, huh? Hell yeah. Can't win for losing. Drew Skid. And I got my boy Entertainer Records in the building, man. His first time being on the show, man. Big fan loving of the show. It, loving it. We 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 did, we did work together. Like he, he do like recording. He he record music. Let him know all what you do. Bruh, I record. I mix, master. I do digital art designs, covers, things like that. I influence you know, if you need some help as far as guidance on which way you need to go as far as on your creativity and your music. I help you out with that. I'm pretty much a jack of all trades, man. I try Still to shoot videos. I shoot videos. I do that. You know what I'm saying? I actually got a mixtape series, Industry Hustling. You know what I mean? That I do. I actually got the need to get to working on the fourth one. We got three instruments of that right now. You know, Industry Hustling Volume One, Two, and Three. And finna get that fourth one. And hopefully DJ Five Flame be on the fourth one. Right. Hosting that thing with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Man. And other than that, man, I try to do everything, man. Whatever I can to help the music industry out and the local talent, anything, big talent, local talent. If I can do it, I'ma do it. And right. if I can't do it, I'ma learn how to do it just so I can do it. You know what right, I mean? Right, I'm gonna right. go to YouTube University and find out how to do it. And Thank I'm God that for that. And that ain't good. Done. Yeah, Shit. you know what I'm saying? Man, it taught me so much, man. That right there, I'm glad you brought that up, man, because ain't no ain't no reason. I I know it's gonna hurt my business because I had the product to sell to try to help artists and stuff, but you're a damn fool for paying somebody to do stuff that you could go look it up your damn self, you yeah. know. It's all about patience, man. If you ain't willing to let someone do it for you. Now, if right. you're willing to let somebody do it for you, then go ahead and let them do it. Because the more you do, I can honestly say, as far as me, when I started out in the industry, I started out as an artist. But when I started out, with nobody recording, with nobody doing nothing, you know, when I started out. So I had to learn how to record, do the mixing, do all that. And it took away from my artistry, you know what I mean? I right. basically stopped doing being an artist. And that's how I got into being a recorder, mixing, master, things like that. Because... That's what I had to do to get my music out. Right. But now in the age we live in now, you got people that can do it for you. So if you got people that can do it for you, let them do it. That way you can focus on your true talent, focus on your true vision, and get it out there, man. Because as an artist, an artist needs to be an artist. An artist don't need to be an artist, a, a 
DJ manager. or producer <laughs> or manager. An artist needs to be an artist. That's how he truly can master his craft and become one of the greatest by just focusing on his job as an artist. Right, right. But you got to have a team and good yeah, people around. And that's what I'm saying. Until you, then, your ass need to be Google yeah, yeah, you need to and Google goddamn YouTube you know, you know and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and your own because, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like Big Crit. Big Crit, he do a lot of his own stuff, a lot of his own beats, a lot of his own mixing, a lot of his own stuff. And you see what he got. He got beats by everybody that did a, a Big Crit beat, right. from the biggest to the lowest. Everybody that been on Big Crit, and he started out doing it all for himself. And to this day, he still do it all for himself. Don't pay nobody. At all. At all, bro. Crit do everything himself. Make his beats, mix, mass, all that. He do it all himself. And he successful at it. Rise the rising man. I appreciate everybody being tuned into the early morning show, man. We be back tomorrow, man. We'll get here a little bit earlier, man. You already know what it is. Your boy DJ Firefly, man. And I thank everybody that called in. Uh every hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on before I get out of here. I got something for y'all too. Hold on, hold on. Boom. Go vote for me right now. Go vote for me right now, man. We is up for another award. I'm telling y'all, it's crazy, man, how how so many different people, man, noticing the radio station, man, because I did not know we were even nominated for this shit. I would have never knew if if this 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 female that I know, this lady I know down there in Miami, she worked for a radio station down there in Miami, and her radio station that she worked for was nominated, and she ran across my name that was on there for the uh, best radio show, and she tagged me in a Facebook post. And I went back and looked like, what the hell? And this off in Memphis, man. And I'm going to give y'all some more details about this whole awards show. It, it's basically like for the underground. Anybody doing stuff for the help the underground, like different clothing line, radio station. Uh, it, it's a lot of different categories on there, man. You have to go in there and check it out, man. Go vote. And make sure you vote Breaking Music Live Radio for Best Radio Show, man. It's going to take place in Memphis. So this is going to be my first time in Memphis in May. Whoo, lit. I got to find me a little pain and all that shit. Lee. What? <laughs> Straight up. For real, man. It's going to be it. Listen, listen, go vote, man. I'm going to drop the link here in just a second. I appreciate everybody tuned in, man. Y'all already know what it is. It's the early morning grind show, and we out this bitch, baby. For the clicks, stay down, get your thing count On my way already with a pack of dye out I'm delayed too fast, I need to slow the whip down She got me running to it, roll tight, touchdown Now I done out of waiting all day, yeah But it's all good cause I've been making plays, yeah And I'ma slide into and get a fade, yeah. With some California, got to give kush, heavy medicated Oh now, she wanna pop a perk and let the mind of St. O'Mal Fog up the windows, have it looking like we smoked it out She got the I'm thinking that she no Korean now But do I do but knock it out the pub while Gucci down All the nights in Milwaukee we'll spend some bucks too Money's take talk all the Giannis sat to the Kung Fu Put it on moms I ain't trying to fall in love with the most But she give it to me whenever I want to She let me get it when I want it AM to the PM yeah you know I pull up on the line Can I get it in the highway You been waiting all day I'm just one call away She let me get it when I want it AM to the PM, yeah, you know I pull up on the line Can I get it in the hallway? You been waiting all day, I'm just one call away Let you count my money and you never steal a dime Where you been GPS searching for you my whole life Cute face, slim waist, can I grip it from behind? She said you a trap nigga, so the pleasure's all mine Born in the 80s, I can upgrade ya Listen to my knowledge, show you how to get some paper Never steal you wrong, cause we got one life to live Make it through the night, I consider that a blessing No, you won't stress me, that's why I keep Smith for Weston Call up Monique, let her bless me On the dick, she go extra Lil' Caesars, hot and ready Seats back, she give me Becky Let me get it when I want it Blaze plenty marijuana, long stroke put in a coma Then she wake up, get the cookie She know I'm a go-getter I ain't with the childish shit I got the recipe, you wanna make your money flip X memories erase when I'm hitting it from the rear she let me get it when I want it, AM to the PM, yeah, you know I pull up on the line. Can I get it in the highway? You been waiting all day, I'm just one call away. She let me get it when I want it, AM to the PM, yeah, you know I pull up on the line. Can I get it in the highway? You been waiting all day, I'm just one call away.